she was giving me head and her like you 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 can see how dry her mouth was like <laughs> like on the situation so i'm like <laughs> i was already irritated so her breath was stinking her head smelled like old grease and and no, that shit funny too. Uh, flat iron, like an <laughs> old ass flat iron, bro. Like in tea, it smelled like tea too. So I was, it was just a whole bunch of bad smells. Mm, damn, Q, baby, you did that. What up? What up? What up, man? It's your boy Shy, Shy versus everybody podcast, Voice of Detroit, motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. What up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 179. Got a special guest in the building, man. I found out about Dog. Uh, it was on, uh, I think, Auntie's house, Dog. Mm. Auntie's crib. Mm. What's, 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 is it Auntie's crib? Yeah, Auntie's house. Yeah, yeah Auntie's house, Auntie's crib and shit, Dog. I'm like, damn. <laughs> bro, bro, nice, Dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Got, got bars and shit, Dog. But uh, rapper, got them college graduate. Yep. Got him put that in there, dog. My man got got some brain and shit, man. Pause. That shit's all right. <laughs> <laughs> a, a Cody, a Cody legend, dog. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Cody DIT, man. Hell yeah. So you know he's from the West Side. Huh? You already know. <laughs> we got Q the boy in the building. What's the deal? What's, What's the deal with you, my boy? Fine, man. Happen, dog. Here. Both of our schedules kind of fucked up, dog. Yeah, man. I was like, man, I really wanted to do this shit, and then last couple weeks, I was like, ah, oh, I missed the lab. I'm like, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I'm apologizing, sending the essay. Like, listen, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work it. Hey, but my thing is, we was able to have that back and forth and understand, like, all right, my shit fucked up, your shit fucked up, but we came up with a shit. date. Because I had somebody last week, bro. This, <laughs> this nigga went off on me, dog, in DM. What? Dog, he supposed to came on the show prior, but things had fucked up. And he was trying to get back home. So I'm like, bro, I got a list of people. Right. So you got four in line. Now I'm like, nigga, maybe Wednesday, but nine times ten is going to be December. He like nigga, you trash, nigga. You got you on what? trash time. I'm like, bro, what? And he like, I'm like, you know what, cuz we ain't even got to do an interview. Then they like, get the fuck on, nigga. I'm like, nigga, I'm eating breakfast, nigga. <laughs> 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 nigga, how you got that much energy in the morning bro, just to be on that type of I work midnight. I just got work and you mad because I told you you can come on in December. December next month, nigga. <laughs> like it's not even that's not it's like two weeks from now. Yeah, so that nigga cussed me out. He was mad because like nigga, I'm too old to be. Yelling at niggas on DM, so I just kept saying salute, and it was like, nigga, "Fuck you, nigga." I'm like, "All right, bro, salute." That nigga sent them the salute emoji. <laughs> yeah. That nigga had Tammy and put bad. That nigga Tammy and put bad business. I'm like, bro, I don't charge you, nigga. Like, <laughs> so now I just, I just did the nice thing and like, all right, man, salute to dog. Y'all go check his music up. And that was it, nigga. Like. You took the high road. Like, salute is crazy though. <laughs> I feel like I feel like it probably made him mad. You were saying salute more than anything. Like this nigga just salute me, dog. They like get the fuck home, nigga. You burnt out. All right, man. Salute, bro. <laughs> nigga, positive vibes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, we start off every episode with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for people to pass away, make that long ass Facebook status, mm -hmm. that long ass, you know, saying I love him or her instead of showing them that love while he's still here. But it can't be an easy answer. It can't be your parents. It can't be no. You ain't got no kids. Whatever. No, no I listen kids. to music and shit. No <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It can't be a, a relationship. It gotta be somebody outside that easy answer. So you got somebody you want to show some love to? Show some love to. I mean, it's a couple people I can show some love to. It can I be more than one. Of, okay, yeah, bad, for sure. Bad. Um, shit. Damn. Um. Uh, so <laughs> first, I want. I would say my my producer. Okay. Uh, Mark Clayton. Mm -hmm. That's my boy. Uh, it's because we've been, I've been doing this music thing for a while, and like we both have grown together as like as I'm recording, he and his production skills and everything has grown. He already been, he was already uh, him before yeah, that, but, for sure. But I feel like as we move forward, I feel like it's kind of like a, a Drake and Forty situation where as I'm starting to develop, he will develop stuff around mm -hmm. me, and now nah, like the way we mix and master all other shit, it's like it's like. For real, yeah, like on point, the on point, and it's to the T. So I definitely say, boy, Mark. Mm -hmm. I say, um, shit, that's this is a nice question. <laughs> um, my boy, Maury Corey, for sure. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, and my boy Quincy, them them niggas like so when I I didn't I I used to write, but I never used to rap. So yeah. them niggas like I saw them niggas going crazy on the rapping side of things. Yeah. So I'm like, man, you know what? Let me just go ahead and try the shit. And them For niggas sure. would just motivate me. And then, and then that nigga Quincy Banks, that nigga got bars and shit. So he the real reason why, cause I used to write bars, but that's it. Mm-hmm. I could never like deliver. But that nigga Quincy Banks delivery is crazy. Mm-hmm. So that nigga used to like. We used to get on songs. This nigga used to kill me on every song. <laughs> and this nigga did not show no mercy. Like, you know, sometimes you got to match the energy. Yeah, yeah. I was trash. And this nigga just Going went full blown Mace Nas type <laughs> shit. Like, God damn, nigga. Did not show no mercy whatsoever. But I appreciate that because For sure, stuff, got you better. It, it got me better. It got me like, it told me that nigga. Because, you know, when niggas rap, you first time you rap, nigga, everybody think they about to get on. Everybody think nigga, like, yeah, on, I'm man. the best rapper on the planet. And then like... My first ever song, I got humbled very, very quickly. <laughs> it wasn't that experience. I wasn't feeling like I was about to be on. For, for sure. sure, for sure. So no, no, you for sure get humbled your first time, boy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially when you um, like when you start rapping with a nigga that rap for a living. Like, like I was, I was a college student scamming shit. Like, yeah. Like this nigga was really yeah, rapping. Like sure. every day, waking up five hours, seven hours a day, just rapping shit. Yeah. Like me, I'm just sitting here just. Like, Trying to put <laughs> with these Dr. Seuss ass rounds and shit, man. No, no, that shit will nigga get you together, boy. Yeah, for so sure, those are two sure. you want, the three you want to shout out. Yeah, I say yeah. for sure. I mean, Mark I, I mean, Corey, I could yeah. shout my brother out too. I'm gonna shout my brother out, fucking nah, because he 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 definitely helped me out with a lot of shit, and mm. it helps you know when me and him are like a co-owner of a um of of Crowd Freak, so okay. us being able to. Use that platform, but a lot of that I'm not gonna sit here at like, oh yeah, I do all like no, Kurt <laughs> yeah, for sure do, do every, everything. Do a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah, for <laughs> like sure. I just do behind a lot of behind the scenes shit, but I feel like his and, and with Kurt it was all, I I appreciate the way he approached it. He ain't just be like, oh this is my little brother, mm. I'm just gonna just throw the book at everything. It yeah. was kind of like nigga, you I'm gonna put into you what you put into this. For sure. So it was like whenever I was bullshit, he's like, all right, you yeah. just keep on doing the business side. Oh so shit, that's your blood brother? Yeah, that's my blood oh, brother. Oh shit, man. Yeah, man. Hey man. I got to talk shit now since I know it's your brother, dog. I remember the time you were supposed to come on the show, bro. You were stuck in Ohio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting, dog. Call him out, man. That nigga Kirk. Yeah. But you know Kirk, I ain't gonna lie. He Kirk busy. Love- he he a busy person. Yeah. He will love to talk. He talk. He love no, to talk. No, for sure. He's so seen, he seen busy. I, I ain't mad, dog. You still you still follow me on Instagram, dog. Yeah, this nigga <laughs> Kurt, man. You gotta come back out here, man. No, for sure. So do like all right. I'm my salute real quick. I'm gonna salute to um parents. I got salute to parents, bro. Cause I know during this time, bro. It's hard. Yeah. Like if you if you ain't making the money you want to be making, you got kids. It's Christmas, bro. The holidays. This is like the most probably stressful time for people in the, throughout the whole year. Mm-hmm. It's cold. You know what I'm saying? The holidays coming. Everybody spending money. Everybody cheerful. And if you going through some shit, it's kind of hard. So I just want to salute the parents. If it's you know what I'm saying, if y'all fucked up right now, if things ain't how you want it to be, hey, keep your head up. That shit get back right. Type shit. Cause it was some times I was thinking like, <laughs> nigga, I was in bed about to cry, nigga, like next to my wife, like what the, this shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> that shit be hard, bro. And I, I know sometimes niggas don't be having people to talk to, bro, during this time. Man, nigga, parents might be passed away. You know what I'm saying? Might be our relationship. So this could be some times where niggas would really be stressed the fuck out. Yeah, it's either like you either having a really good time mm-hmm. or like. Shit is hitting the fan around this <laughs> no, time. Hell yeah, dog. Especially if you got you ain't got no money, no pay for for Christmas gifts, no. bro. Kids stressing you. We got a Christmas list, and you can't even get. They ain't like, you can't nigga, get I just want fifteen PS fives. No, bro. Like nigga, I got Happy Meal money, nigga. <laughs> nigga for sure. And I'm mad that you asked for that, nigga. <laughs> dog, that shit crazy, bro. Now. Uh, before we get to everything, because I don't like to just go right into the music, man. Mm-hmm. I like to you know tap in and see you know saying shit about you. But it's Thanksgiving, bro. Well, Thanksgiving will be approaching soon. Mm-hmm. What's some shit that niggas could leave at the crib and shit that you gotta have? Like, like what's that one dish? Like, dog, don't bring that shit. Mm, potato salad. I never understood oh. the hype around potato salad. That shit trifling. Yep. It's <laughs> like, like I, I seen niggas. I, I first I used to like. I used to as a kid, it was cool. Yeah. But when I seen a nigga make it, like. <laughs> 
<laughs> mayo and mustard? Yeah, yeah, bro. Keep With that. potatoes is fucking crazy. That definitely keep it's off my crazy. shit. Like I, I, I never like <laughs> like when I was uh, like like when I seen it happen the first time. Mm. Like that, I think that was like my first time I ever seeing. Like it's like learning how magic works. <laughs> like I seen that shit. I was so disappointed. I was bro. like, because I don't eat mustard and mayo. I never me, did it. Nigga, me neither. But I was like, you know what? This potato salad shit tastes weird. But you know, <laughs> I just eat it because I get my ass beat if I don't eat yeah, it. So, for sure. so, so, nah, nigga, I saw the shit. I saw the shit at an age where I can say, nah, nigga, I'm cool. I'm, I'm not eating that. I'm like, what? That's just how I was made. Duh. I, I almost wanted to vomit from all the other times I ate it before. <laughs> So yeah, that's definitely, shit, no, that's definitely on my potato. yeah, that's definitely on my shit too, bro. Yeah, Fuck potato that. salad is trash. We that shit. I feel like when niggas bring potato salad, they can't cook. Yeah, you know, that's the easiest shit to that's make. That's the like. easiest. <laughs> like anybody could put mustard and mayo on potatoes no. and say, "Yup, this the one." Like, no. oh, that shit. Yeah. Fuck no. Now what shit you got? What's the shit you gotta have, bro? Gotta have. I mean, the absolute must. Well. It gotta be yams and right. macaroni cheese. I feel like if you don't have those two things at a Thanksgiving thing, really? then it's probably like that you ain't really yeah. black for real. Cause yeah, I just sure. feel like that's like the two things. And, but but in the same breath though, like those the two things that only specific people can bring. Yeah, no, like, for sure. Like I feel like in our family, it's only two people that can cook macaroni and cheese. Yeah. That's my mama and yeah. my uh. My brother's wife, so I guess my sister in law, yeah, yeah. Those are the only two people that can cook that. Yeah. But yeah, those are the things that, you know what I'm saying? Or yams, like yams, I feel like is one of those things where niggas, it's easy to fuck up because yeah. people just try to make it yeah. like it's sweet as fuck. Sweet as, yeah. These niggas trying to make cake and <laughs> make it to a dessert, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. they don't have to, be, but yeah, so those two for sure gotta be. Now, this is the one thing, this the, this is, you, do you eat dressing? Huh? Oh, yeah, I eat dressing. All right, now what, what's going on top of your dressing, bro? Gravy or cranberry sauce? You want to hear something crazy? What up? Neither. I'm not. Damn, uh, you just drop all I, I, I be dry. I, 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 <laughs> listen, I, maybe that's a, my, my family thing, but like yeah. usually like the, the stuff, I mean, obviously stuff is inside the like for sure, yeah, the turkey, yeah. so it's like I be feeling like the shit is Mixed already that bitch up. Yeah, yeah. to be, you know yeah, oh, no, I'm saying? I load that bitch with the, with the cranberry sauce. I'm so bad, bro. I, cranberry sauce. Oh, I buy my own can, nigga. I bring my own can to your crib, bro. Because that's how much I'm putting on that bitch. I don't want to go crazy. <laughs> Man, I don't go crazy, what? dog. Talking about, are you gonna bring the whole can? <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> nigga got the can. <laughs> you know how big a can is? This nigga just walking around <laughs> with this big ass cylinder dog, in his pocket. For sure. You come here, bitch, nigga, hugging nigga, so they got the can and shit. <laughs> nigga, what's in your fucking pocket, nigga? <laughs> nigga, I just gotta get my motherfucking cranberry sauce. Yeah, dog, because so. I don't wanna go crazy. Niggas get mad at me while I be eating all that cranberry sauce, dog. So shout out to y'all, motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> Dog. You know how much you gotta love cranberry sauce to proactively bring yeah, for some sure. cranberry for sure. sauce. Like, like when me when I, go, day. when I go to the store today, I gotta get something for my wife, bro. I'm gonna grab me a can of cranberry sauce, dog, for the crib. A can for when I go over to my auntie crib. No, my auntie be having a lot. This nigga got cans for different things. <laughs> <It's crazy. laughs> and her grandma crib. I gotta bring it, dog. I gotta bring it, bro. That nigga had. I need a safety net. Now before we uh, move on from Thanksgiving, my my producer, he my family, he's my uncle, dog. He said that macaroni is starting to get a little overrated, dog. He said, like, at the end of the day, it's just cheese and pasta, though. <laughs> See, man, that's that's the furthest thing from the truth. <laughs> There's, it's such a science to macaroni and cheese. And the reason why I say that is because it's so many people who make it wrong. No, for like, sure. I, no, I, I, I'm at man. this point, like, I'm not, I'm not old, you know, obviously, like, but I do feel like I'm at this point in my life where I accepted that I'm not trying nobody else's macaroni and cheese. Yeah, Because yeah. uh, so many people fucked it up. Like, like anybody who get, like... You go into the macaroni and cheese and the shit look like soup is okay. automatically yep, over. Yep, yep, like, yep, you know we, we cool, y'all. Yeah, I'll like, yeah, like, fuck with that. Like you gotta have a like it's so it's a science to the shit. So <laughs> yeah. and I personally feel like uh, more often than not, every woman feel like like you know, oh yeah, I got the best macaroni and cheese, but yeah. no, like ninety no. percent of the time it's trash. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. just be having to sit there and like hype them up, but <laughs> deep down inside, like bitch, this is trifling. No, for sure. For do you feel like like you know back in the day with our like grandparents and mothers and stuff like that, like they was cookers. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we you know saying with the young ladies, dog, you know saying you got something that cook, you got something that you know don't. Do you feel like? A woman is almost obligated to like have some cooking skills, dog. To you know, saying be in a relationship, bro. Cause you gotta feed your dude, you gotta feed your kids. Well, I, don't, I it's interesting nowadays. Like the whole generation is off. Right? So <laughs> yeah. you can't like like well the way I grew up, 
it is way different than what a lot of these women are nowadays. Yeah. But I will say this: if you want to be with me, you are gonna have to know how to cook. Because <laughs> sure. I don't cook shit. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't know how to cook a thing. If I if I <laughs> had to depend on just me just yeah. cooking my meals, nigga, I'd be fucked up. I'd right. be fucked up. I eat I, so many times. I done been. I done ate hot Cheetos for dinner and been perfectly <laughs> fine, nigga. Been just oh, like like nigga, literally like I planned hot Cheetos for dinner. <laughs> no, nigga, Fuck his stomach all yeah, up, fucking my stomach all the way up, man. Like so, so yeah. I I feel like it's definitely a necessity for for for. Like here's the thing though, cause cause is that is the case, but I also understand yeah. that a lot of people ain't like. I used to try to put like women standards, like the, the women I date standards, compared to my mom. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? You but, can't. Like, do that you can't yeah. Like it's two different generations now. Yeah. Like where it. It ain't yeah. gonna happen, but they definitely. If you can't cook, that's kind of that's damn near a deal breaker because, <laughs> like, I just can't survive off hot Cheetos. Every no, day. for sure, for sure. You that's that's funny thing though. Like, I can go in there, bitch. I be like in my household, we do like it's kind of like 50 50 cooking, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I because I can actually cook a little bit. I ain't about to say I, I'm making no, I'm no Gordon Ramsay or nothing, but you feel me? I can put some shit together because my mom one day, dog, with my uh, I was in a relationship, she didn't cook nothing. My mom was like, You gonna let a girl starve you? You better learn how to cook. So, shit, I started learning how to cook, bro. Damn. So, so you learned how to cook because your your girl at the time didn't uh, know how to cook. No, she knew how to cook. She just but wouldn't. she got mad and didn't cook. Damn. So it's like I'm hungry, nigga. Like, Damn. So it's like, that's that's scary business. And, yeah, man. I want, like she was mad. She didn't, she didn't cook. I wanted a steak, bro, because the steak was out. She was like, I ain't cooking that shit. And she really didn't cook. I'm like, damn. Damn. So, so I hit my mom up, nigga. She was like, all right, just make the steak. Bam, bam, bam. Go to the store, get you some instant potatoes, and you'll be good to go. So, shit. Every since then, I'm like, fuck it. That's, that's really scary business. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like if any female was just like, Nah, I ain't cooking for. I I started to go in full blown panic mode. I'm like, like no, wait, because <laughs> we consider. No, for sure. Hell no, I don't. That shit funny as hell, bro. But shit, man, we talking about Thanksgiving year about to be over, man. 2023, man. That shit went by fast as hell. Fast as fuck. How your year been, man? What's some shit that you know, saying ups and downs? Like, what's some shit that went on for you for 2023? 2023. <clears throat> it's 2023 was a very interesting year for me. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, it was because I was I, so just context 2022 right yeah I had dropped the song scapegoat right okay and um my dumb like all right let me just say like lessons to be learned yeah I bought so I I, I dropped the song scapegoat do hit the dude up about the beat didn't buy the beat right mm -hmm. so little Tyler three months later mm -hmm. drops uh that Law and Order song he did okay goes viral all his other shit yeah. I could have bought the beat for four hundred dollars, <laughs> and owned half that song. Probably made like two hundred fifty thousand. You know what I'm saying? So I was, I, I came in 23, 23, sick as hell about that. <laughs> I see every time I see somebody post a little Tyler shit, I'm like, <laughs> no. now, it's like a constant reminder, nigga. Got that you, yeah. you just missed out on some paper. <laughs> so like, so, so hey, you came into the year fucked up. Dude. I, I came into the year irritated, but now I, I was like, you know what? I, I I can't focus in on that. So like throughout the year, I just really tried to focus in on like, like correcting the sound and like mm -hmm. putting more time into the studio. So I feel like last year, like or in previous years, I would like just create just enough songs to be like, okay, I gotta, uh, I got my next four to five songs planned out, sure. and if I have a need to do a tape, I'm a record the exact amount i need and maybe cut down That's from it, there right yeah. um now i feel like this year i probably recorded over 500 songs like just being in the studio almost every weekend yeah and i was just like really trying to like try out different sounds mm -hmm. and i felt like recording got easier for me so like it was definitely one of those things where it's like you wanted to try different things mm -hmm. i also like made i made a lot of good connections this year too like um, I feel like it, I, I'm very like introverted for the most part. Like, so like I, I be ducked off. I don't go to like a lot of events or any of that shit. Like for I sure. hate going out. So this year I felt I took it upon myself to like really just go out and see yeah. like like what what else could I like go to different events, support people's events and shit like mm -hmm. that. And it's I feel like I it's the best type of networking because now I, I I at least feel like I got a good enough connection with sure. a lot you of local got artists in the city. Out there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and that's important. Because a lot of people just be stuck on, you know, Instagram and yep. advertising that way and making connections that way. But you got to still do that old school approach by shaking hands, kissing babies, you feel me? Being yeah. out there and shit. 
And I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I still low key don't like that shit. Oh, I hate cause, it. Cause, <laughs> cause I, it's just so much other shit. Like I just like sometimes you gotta like I hate like having a sometimes with dapping niggas up, bro. <laughs> like and I just know these niggas ain't washed no, their hands. Bro. Or I see a nigga sneeze into their hands and niggas be uh, you know what I'm saying? Niggas like, be too grown for that shit. Too dog. grown, bro. People sanitary uh like processes just be just so <laughs> fucked up do, man, you just you you gotta go out and just shake everybody hand you don't know where they hand i done bro. seen niggas do some trifling ass shit Duh. and then expect a full-blown dap like, yeah bro i was in movies yesterday went to movies and shit though i went to the bathroom niggas is pissing out out like damn, just no <laughs> no water no you ain't gonna at least put water on it rich no shit like niggas bro is trifling, no. yeah they I be, finished man i be teaching my my kids that shit bro like because the bathroom is no when you go to a public bathroom that's a nasty ass place bro yeah, it's trifling. like nigga, i don't touch the door nigga when i'm flush toilet i'm hitting that bitch with my fist nigga like because that shit dog niggas nasty out here bro niggas is trifling man niggas nasty as fuck disgusting niggas, <laughs> niggas be blowing nose like nigga you ain't gonna wash your hands ain't no hand sanitizer nothing i i like i seen the worst <laughs> I seen so I'm at I'm at um, I'm at a uh, event right and dog full blown like not sneezed here it went here right <laughs> hands in pockets rub back out and then was still proceeded to start dapping niggas <laughs> Like, like I didn't like. I was, I just like he was like this. I just like, I like, I act like I ain't seen him. I was like, oh, what up, bro? And then like walk past him, like little, Duh. you know. I'm like this dirty ass nigga, man. Duh, nigga really just nasty, sneezed bro. on his hand, like he five years old. Like, <laughs> like I feel like if my five year old, like if I ain't got a five year, but if I have a five year old yeah. and they motherfucking sneeze in their hands, I'm yeah, like, I'm, I'm, too, I'm, I'm like, you feel get your dirty ass in the Duh. bathroom, wash your hands. Yeah, like, man, for sure. I cut to my son. I'm like, hold on, bro. I ain't hear no word. You you peed in you. Get your ass in the bathroom, wash your goddamn hands. Exactly, though. and that's how it should be. <laughs> hey, a, lot, a lot of these niggas finish because nobody taught. It's a bunch of dirty people raising dirty people. Bro. Man, no hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> it's nigga. fucked up generational cycle of dirty Duh, ass niggas. That shit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it, the worst shit is when you go to a dirty chick house, though, bro. No, oof. I went to a chick house and she. I was wondering why the lights was like it's off. It's just off. I'm like, damn, it's dark as hell. I know it's, it's nighttime, but it ain't you know? Usually, black people keep a bathroom light on, night light or something. It's dark, nigga. Jeez. Just the TV. So I use the bathroom, bro. So I'm like, can I use the bathroom? She's like, yeah, the light don't work in the bathroom. I'm like, what? I'm like, whatever, dog. Fuck, I got use the bathroom. So nigga, I got my phone, nigga. I turned the light on that phone. Roaches everywhere, scattering. <laughs> I still pissed, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, dog? Like, bro. I had to get out of here, dog. Nigga, I, I remember. I'm lying. That's mad. <laughs> I'm about to say. I was about to say. Listen, I remember one time, bro. I laid down. I'm laying down, right? I'm. <laughs> nasty, I'm, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? About to, you know, do to do. And she went to the bathroom, right? And I look on the bed. I see a little fast little critter. Dog. So, <laughs> so, so I'm like, I, I immediately, while she in the bathroom, turn the lights on. Yeah. Little dude, you know, you do a little mattress check. For sure. sure enough, it was a fucking army Dog. of fucking bed bugs oh, in that bed, nigga. bro. So I'm just sitting there just conflicted. Because I'm like, <laughs> damn, she cold. She was cold. She was too cold to have bed bugs, bro. Duh. So I'm like, damn, she cold as hell. But if I get these bitches, they coming with me. Yeah, yeah nigga, for and, sure, nigga. And I said. I still smack. I, no. <laughs> I took it for the team. I mean, bro, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I put my uh, I, nigga. When I say I uh, took my clothes, and I, I was like, "You got a hanger?" Dog. <laughs> I took my clothes off, put them bitches in the hanger. <laughs> nigga, hanging his socks up. I, I mean, I feel like I feel like. I had to have that transparent conversation. I was like, I was like, uh, I was like, you know, because I feel like it's awkward if I sit here and act like you ain't got bed bugs, and then on the whole time I'm Duh. just like sitting on the edge that of the bed hilarious. trying to get the fuck up through. Bro. So I literally just like addressed the head on. I'm like, yeah, I see you. Uh, <laughs> you see, you got them one thing. Yeah, them, you know what yeah. Bro, them bitches <laughs> dangerous. I already had roaches before I had bed bugs. You nigga. hear what I'm saying? Roaches, they just embarrass you. Yeah. Fucking bed bugs, they attacking you. No, no, blown. and they not leaving. They never like you leaving. never gonna get rid of bed bugs as you blow the house up nigga that's the only way dog them, they, when they there they fucking there yeah, it's they, a wrap you take one home nigga it. one gonna go turn to motherfucking 1500 dog man i was at a summer program and my my friend he had 
his, he had bed bugs, right? So I didn't know bed bugs was. <laughs> like at this time, I thought like you know I just thought it was a saying like yeah, don't, don't, never, don't like the let bed bugs bite. Yeah. So I just thought that was a figure of speech, <laughs> 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 nigga. I, <laughs> this nigga came in there. And like week two, I was just like, damn, these mosquitoes Duh. been fucking me up. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, bro, I was like, it's, I don't understand. Like, like, I'm like, I put off in here. Nigga, I got, I, the doors never open. Yeah. Like, I put, I put, I broke sponges down on the bottom of my Duh. door so I can ensure there Nothing's was no going. mosquitoes getting in this bitch. Yet and still, I'm just getting fucked Fuck up. up. So I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, like, why do you think this happened? He's like, he's like, um, bears, he's like, huh? yeah, my, um, my dad, he got bed bugs, and I think I brought some of them with him. I was like, I was like, bed bugs. I was like, what, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Like, like, don't let the bed bug bite bed bugs. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, yeah, he's like, I'm like, bro, what, what the fuck is that? I Google this shit. I'm like, nigga, what? Shit, I told my mom, my mom flipping out. She's like, get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. All that stuff. She, she, well, she ain't cuss. My mom don't cuss. She's like, get out of there. She's yeah, like, do yeah. not bring any of your clothes. Leave all your clothes exactly. there. Exactly. So I had to start over with the drip, everything. Like, the, Duh, everything was shit. fucked up because of that. Bro, them us is like, they like little crabs, bro. Like, bro, they, they are. They, they there. Yeah, they just, they there. And they hide in corners. I do, I do, they clever ass bugs. Yeah, like, I had to break a lease because of bed bugs, dog. Because we moved in. I'm like, Nigga, this whole apartment infested. So then, like you said, you got to start all over with the furniture. You got to start once they in there, they in there. The Luckily, the furniture was from a uh, rent center. So I just told them to come get that shit, bro. Nah, uh, them feel, niggas didn't even know. I feel bad. This nigga like, done gave the whole you know, east side of Detroit bed bugs without even knowing. Bro, I feel bad now, bro, because my brother came over at the time he going to King. We stayed not too far from King, bro. He come over. And nigga, he got his black uniform pants on. You see bed buttons coming down his leg. I'm like, dog, what the fuck? Them niggas is disrespectful, Duh, man. So, nigga, I tell my apartment, nigga, I'm taking pictures. Like, bro, y'all got bed buttons because, nigga, I'm coming from my mom's crib. She ain't got nothing. She the cleanest person in the world. I'm like, so I'm taking pictures. I go to court. He like, y'all can either pay rent or y'all can move without, you know what I'm saying, affecting your uh, credit. Nigga, I'm moving. Hell yeah. That shit was, nigga, four years later, that shit on my credit. Like, bro. I try to call a nigga. They got they ain't changed management, so nigga, I can't even do shit. My crazy fucked up for seven years ago. That's some bullshit. Just, that shit just got my shit like three years ago. Though. That's bullshit. I, I feel like they be doing that shit on purpose. I feel like certain shit like that, like. Come on now, like nigga, you had them one things, you know what I'm saying? No, like for sure. them, them, them things, nigga. That, that's that's I rather I rather I'd rather somebody. I know I, I ain't gonna say that. There's so much shit I'd rather somebody do than to give me bed bugs. But bed bugs is like that's damn near like you are gonna be fighting that battle. No, for a no, while, and you gonna nigga. lose. Nigga. Even when you even when you move, nigga. Like I done seen niggas move five cribs and every crib Got at business. least one came <laughs> with them. Home, and all it takes is one. One motherfucker can go ahead and build up nigga, like yeah. nineteen motherfuckers in in a day. Yeah, like so they got motherfuckers like, tw twenty on the bitch on their back. Like all right, we here. Nigga, them motherfuckers Thanos too. They don't survive. <laughs> they survive everything, nigga. Duh, nigga I done seen niggas get their house bombed 13 times i done seen a nigga this nigga paid 7500 dollars to get a full like nigga niggas in suits Duh. bomb the bitch just <laughs> to get a bed bug the first see a bird bed bug the first time he come back in that bitch like that nigga took they paid for him to you know be gone for a week the whole situation nigga came back bed bug still crawling Duh. the Them nigga i'm still alive like, like <laughs> Fuck that. I, can't, <laughs> I can't fuck with that shit. They man. still there, bro. They, they still, still alive, Shout out man. to uh, the bad bug owners, dog. Yes. I, 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 I hurt for y'all, dog. <laughs> y'all niggas going through it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all finish. <laughs> y'all yeah. finish. Y'all y'all that for life, nigga. Dog, for sure. It's the, over, dog. It's over, nigga. Just get a whole new life, nigga. <laughs> For real. Nah, I come back, nigga. <laughs> nigga you, you finished, bro. Like you, you might as well just chalk it up to the game, get it back in reincarnation, bro. No, <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. You, uh, you, you mentioned something earlier, man, about like you know, saying showing your face card, being out here, dog. Like so, like what is your advertising scheme like as far as like pushing your music out as to as many people as you can? Because like <laughs> nowadays you gotta pay, you gotta pay to get on these blog sites. You gotta do this. Cause I'm thinking about the old school approach. I just wanted to go ahead and just try to share my shit with as many people. But then you got people telling me like, "Nigga, you gotta, you gotta pay. You gotta yeah. pay to be seen." Yeah. So, so like with rap, the biggest thing you gotta know is pay to play. You gotta understand that it's a thing, mm -hmm. and and it's a thing for a very simple reason. 
And niggas got families too. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, sure. like people build up their brands that, and put all this hard work into it so that way they can monetize. Like, that's what we mm. doing as rappers too, right? Mm. So it's like when it come up to it, like, you got to be able to understand that you're going to spend money. And that's why I tell every new artist, like, like yo, yes, nigga. You know how many, you know how many niggas rap better than Drake? Mm -hmm. Kanye, all them niggas. It's like it's a lot of niggas. For I sure. know people. I know people that rap better than a lot of niggas, right? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, what's the most important thing is is like how you gonna get hurt, nigga. For it sure. don't mean shit, nigga. You can, and that don't mean that. Even if they, people think that, oh, you gotta work hard. Like working hard don't mean shit either, nigga. <laughs> nigga it's niggas. It's <laughs> niggas that been doing rap rapping for literally twenty years. Mm -hmm. Niggas still get seventeen views on YouTube. Like, like the, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Like, like, like. Yes, consistency is a part of it, but nah, mm -hmm. nigga, you gotta you gotta put that paper. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm doing, like off rip locally, you gotta go like Detroit Rap News, Detroit Rap Daily, V Live. Like mm -hmm. you gotta do all the local markets first, for foremost. sure. Like like that's kind of like the biggest thing. Like just because it, you need that. Like the hat, the more local support you will have, mm -hmm. the more opportunities is easier to start marketing to your group of people. Mm -hmm. Cause like what I used to do when I first started was, <clears throat> I was just trying to do all these like big campaigns um, where I tried to get multiple people to do the music and shit. Like, but it was hard to target. Like, oh yeah, let me like do this type of campaign for Memphis versus Atlanta versus all this other stuff. So yeah. like. I realized that, like, okay, maybe I need to take a step back and really just start working on from the local side of things mm -hmm. and then just growing in within. So so definitely, like, looking at it from that perspective, definitely interviews, doing every t piece of content you can possibly do. And, like, so that I, I do a lot of, like, one mics, doing, like, partnering up with different people. Like, yeah. like <clears throat> everything is all about content. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, people, you can create, you can do a song, right? And you could do like 15 one mics to it, right? Mm. And people will be thinking that you damn near own or about to be on <laughs> just off the up. strength that you just consistently creating mm -hmm. content. And that's what it is. Like rapping right now is not about like just being like good at rapping. It's a lot of motherfuckers no. from that have been rapping since 2000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Been, you That's know, good, rapping good at you. rapping. Yeah, for sure. But it, it's deeper than that. It's like no. you got to also like, it's now about image. It's about everything. Like, like I wish I didn't have to spend like as much as I have to spend on just image shit. Mm -hmm. But I also understand that like, especially if being in Detroit, you can't be like just walking around in vans and yeah. shit like like <laughs> like you know what I'm saying like niggas really will judge no for sure like, even if like it, like crazy thing is most people who don't dress up or don't have all the like name brand shit on those are the niggas who probably really got the most money <laughs> no. let's just be honest yeah. like it ain't no like oh yeah like um Oh, they wearing vans because they broke. No, usually they just smart as hell no, with their sure. money. Hell yeah, hell and, yeah. Use that shit the right way. You know what I'm saying? But the niggas, but niggas in the city, like they and and, and the fans, they want to see the kit, they want to see the watch, they want to see all this other shit. So hell it's yeah. like it's a lot of shit you gotta invest into the music. That's not even like anything music related, related to the music. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's frustrating. Like, but it is what it is as an artist. So I would say this: any like artist, like your marketing has to be towards imaging content mm -hmm. those are the two things imaging content and like you can per perfect this music over time like yeah. i would tell people worry about the music later like yeah. like keep trying keep practicing find your own sound you know because it's a lot of people who like they spend the first five years of their career rapping like everybody else mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and once they finally get their own song now they're already done. They already wore out because yeah. they didn't try. They, you know, <laughs> you know sure. what I'm saying? They just start giving up. So, nah, like, just find your own sound. Yeah. But the biggest thing is definitely go out there and yeah. um, spend that money on now, content. Now, when you're doing that, bro, like like you said, the, uh, the Detroit Rap Dailies, the Rap News, mm -hmm. and stuff shit like that. Like, if I'm a rapper and I'm, I'm doing that, but it, it's really not like... Do I gotta have patience because it's not growing like you know saying how I think it is for me to be paying this money? I'm not really seeing nothing as far as like followers or engagement and shit like that. Like, what do you say to that artist that feel like I shouldn't do it because it ain't gonna change anything on my end? No, that's a good question. I think that um, I feel like every rapper goes through this stage unless you like. It's very few people who don't go through it. like like you gotta think about it. just to get on. It's like a one in like twenty three <laughs> million chance, right? Yeah, for sure, yeah. Like, <clears throat> but outside of that, it's like. 
Like when you when you get on when you start rapping, the way it goes is the first song everybody ain't mama sharing it. Like oh I can't <laughs> believe you doing music, dude. Yeah, this this and this. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like everybody, you got like nah like 200 plus shares on the video, niggas. Everybody supporting you, right? Mm-hmm. And you think that you gonna be on, and then you drop that second and that third, and you just start to see those 200 supporters go down to like. Five, four, <laughs> and then it's just your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, like that's just that's how support go, my man. Right? Like, <laughs> like, and the biggest thing is you just gotta be resilient and don't let that shit get to you. And you gotta also like this. Son, I used to have a big struggle with mm-hmm. just because your friends don't post your shit. Mm-hmm. Do not be like, nah, fuck these. Fucked niggas. up, yeah. Because yeah. I used to be like, I see nigga, I see Drake drop right, yeah, yeah. and I see yeah. I, like Drake, uh, Drake a drop. And I had just, I, 2021, right? Yeah, this is how recent I just had to get over the shit. Mm-hmm. So Drake had dropped that COB, right? My man's is posting in his story every day. Man, this shit hard. Dude, this shit hard. Posting captions, all this shit. Nigga, I dropped my tape like, like probably like a month later. Nigga never post anything. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, this nigga hit me up. I'm like, no, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, nigga. You don't even want to, you know, like we went back and forth. But at the end of the day, like, <laughs> like the thing is, you got to make people listen, want to listen to your shit. For you sure. got to make it to where people want want to post that shit mm-hmm. like so so yeah so I, I definitely feel like it's a lot of like that in the music industry this is like i don't know if i say it. I, yeah i said like everybody is a bunch of like dick sucks right yeah. and like no that's fair like, and, 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 and it, it's it's a part of sales right so in sales when i used to do sales they used to talk about like bandwagoning right mm-hmm. they used to be like well like the way you get sales is like all right um like what my clients usually like to do is this right mm-hmm. and the, the the hopes is that people will start like wanting to oh if they did it then i can do it too For right sure. and that's kind of similar to how the music industry is now like a lot of times you're not people I probably see your shit all the time. Like I know certain artists or like people see my shit a lot, right? Yeah. But I know people ain't gonna start really like like the masses or like certain people are not gonna start sharing it and stuff mm-hmm. until somebody big starts sharing <laughs> fact, it. That's and it that's is. just how it goes. So yeah. I so yeah, so I definitely say like definitely just continue to keep going, keep finding the sound mm-hmm. is the most important thing too. Cause like like I feel like if you listen to my earlier stuff, it's all over the place. Like yeah. it's all over the and place. Now you more structured and now shit. I'm more structured. Now I know what I want. I, I can I can go into the studio like I wanna do this type of vibe and then leave a studio mm-hmm. and that, you know and i feel like i couldn't do that before so so yeah i think it's definitely like um i would say that and just yeah i the the that i also say like with music it's not about timing as much you know what i'm saying it's mm-hmm. more so about like how you um like build connections mm-hmm. and then with through building those connections like getting a lot of social capital to mm-hmm. so that way like over time you can start spending that accordingly mm-hmm. like like used to, like i i go to events and should support people's events and shit like that all the time just mm-hmm. so i can be like like whenever it come time for when i need something exactly. to be done you know what i'm saying they come back did, around they come back around and, and you also get to know see who who real and who ain't yeah. doing that time no, for sure. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. if you go to 15 events and then you ask this nigga go to one event <laughs> <laughs> that's no, being convenient sure. as fuck and they ain't gonna do it then you yeah, already yeah. Know, like, All right, but no it's definitely about. patience too bro yeah. he with the podcast i'm like no what the fuck nigga I get, this shit straight like, you be expecting that shit to just take off yep. and then like you said you get that one guest Everybody sharing it. Man, you doing your motherfucking thing. Mm-hmm. Then you get somebody you don't know. Like you said, your girl, your motherfucking brother and shit like that. They, yeah, man. They sharing it and shit like that. So it's just, it's all about patience. Like you said, it's about that one interview with that one person who's going to share your shit. Like, Type shit. It's going to take it over the top. Because like you said, when somebody who like it, like say for instance a Vezel or somebody who big in the city, they like it. Oh shit, we like it then. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's a, that's a, it's kind of fucked up, but that's how the world works. It's so, it's so crazy. Like, like being in rap, you have so many different realizations. You're like, damn, bro. It's fucked up that. Niggas is dick sucking. Like, like <laughs> niggas just can't <laughs> you can just like the shit off the strength and strength that is good. At all. Like nah, it, it's niggas it's gotta be somebody acknowledging it to mm-hmm. for them to be like, Yeah, actually I've been on that for real. Like, no, for sure. like nigga, you ain't never share <laughs> shit, but you know yeah. the shit like that. Now you had said something earlier about um Finding your sound and you say about how your songs being all over the place earlier on to now you more structured. Mm-hmm. And me listening to the music, I feel like you embody a Detroit sound, but you still got your own type of flow too. What you what would you say about your sound like and how you you know what I'm saying how did you find your sound and like 
and be comfortable with, you know, saying rapping in this type of way. Yeah, so I, like my first song ever was Super Queen, right? And, mm. and I was in this bitch just sounding so crazy. Yeah. I was loud yelling, and I was <laughs> on some like Meek Mill, like yeah, they be yelling, like just yelling <laughs> for yeah. three minutes straight. It was, just, but I feel like I feel like listening to um like like Babyface Ray and, and V's. What I noticed that they do mm. is they use their natural voice to like like so it's kind of like they kind of talking mm -hmm. more than it is like oh yeah like here i am dun, dun, dun. like yeah. it, it ain't none of that shit it's yeah. just like just natural voice and once i feel like once i realized that because like, like i feel like babyface ray he got like a lighter voice mm -hmm. so like i feel like i always had a lighter voice and it's like damn i used to always struggle with like damn how do i do this while also like attacking it then i just was like you know what i'm just gonna just use my voice mm -hmm. and i feel like once i use my voice like i I understood how I can do like uh like if I'm if I'm gonna be like super if I'm gonna talk super loud or mm. if I'm gonna just structure how I deliver certain things mm. or like like for example like like if I'm like tired my voice it might be way different than yeah. if I'm like just you know what I'm saying if I've been up like drinking energy drinks or something sure, yeah. like that like so so yeah definitely feel like using my voice was like the biggest thing for me. And I realized, like, too, like, a lot of my songs used to just be just, like, every single line, I was just beating niggas' asses with punchlines. Yeah, no, like, yeah. just, <laughs> just turned this shit to, somebody told me, like, like he was like, bro, listening to your music is like a puzzle. Like, he was like, he was like, you shit, like, you know what I'm saying? At first, I was like, yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. But then you, like, I started thinking about, it, I'm like, okay, not everything gotta be, like, a bar, right? So yeah. it's like, like, I had to, like, dial back on that and be more more precise with my delivery too mm -hmm. like like certain shit i used to say this is go people here because i didn't deliver it right so it's like setting up stuff mm -hmm. for delivery there's a lot of intricacies when it comes up to music for mm -hmm. real but i definitely think when it comes up to like like rap like voice delivery mm -hmm. and and bars like those are the things that like i feel like i've got my flow on now and i feel yeah. like I, I know who i am with that so for sure do you feel like it's an insult when somebody say like you got a Detroit sound, even though we from the, the city, because you know you got a down south sound, right. a Memphis sound, a Cali, a West Coast sound, like Texas. Like, is it is it an insult when somebody say you got a Detroit flow? Uh, nah. I would say this. I would say you are your part of your environment. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So like, I, I I can't sit here and be like, oh yeah, the the Detroit sound is yeah. this this and this. No, I I actually take it as a compliment. Like mm -hmm. I'm like I'm. Taking from, I, mean, well, I wouldn't say, I, I am, you, like, this sound that is popular in my environment, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, it's, it it has consumed me, I'm a part of this, this, I'm a part of Detroit culture, so of course, mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, be able to exemplify that in my music, sure. you know what I'm saying, so, so that's kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, um, I, I understand why people might be hesitant to do the whole yeah. Detroit because people don't want to limit themselves. But at the same time, it's like it's a beautiful thing to mm -hmm. have uh, roots from somewhere like yeah. Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, like I know, it's so many artists. So like I be in Ohio a lot, right? And there's so many artists in Ohio that is that has no like they either sound like Detroit or they sound something else yeah. because like nobody's really focusing in mm -hmm. on their sound and a lot of their sounds don't have they don't have a they don't even have a sound yeah. to begin with in certain places too so like being able to have like something you know where you grow up with mm -hmm. you grew up with this music you've exactly. been around this music cause man people used to understand right the, our, our, our sound and how we was rapping kind of like off beat a little bit like yep. you know what I'm or saying the, but now that's the, the thing like you, yeah, yeah but now everybody kind of like mimicking our sound a little bit you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah 100% mainstream the sound is mainstream look Hell at that, like yeah. like a lot of all of, a lot of all those other people like like everybody mimicking it and it's for a good reason like yeah. like it's one of those things where it's like we we created something well i'm saying we like i don't want to create it <laughs> like our city created something that um that is so unique and mm. different and it's original you mm. know what i'm saying like that's what a lot of music lack is originality right mm. like niggas want to be just like everybody else and it's like i feel like for me personally i can't like ignore my detroit roots yeah. so like in my music is definitely in there but i definitely feel like there's ways to even do that and still be original yeah, and that's in, how I, when I hear when i hear you 
Hey, you, you still got original sound. You still don't sound like nobody. Like, oh, he he copying this flow. He copying this sound. It still sound like you. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I think, like, as a rapper, like, of course, this is our sound. We around every day, so we just going to naturally have that sound. Right. But you got to put a little twist to it. Because, like, back in the day, I, I used to always say everybody stole the sound from Dope Boy Care Show. Right. But then it just became a universal sound as far as, like, this is a Detroit sound. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I think people used to run away from it back then until it became a big thing. Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel like then you know that's that that's what I'm saying that bandwagon shit, right? <laughs> exactly. Like like niggas is really dick suckers in real life, right? Okay. Because because like you know what I'm saying like everybody used to shit on the Detroit sound. I remember so I used to I, I went to Bowling Green, right? Okay. In, in Ohio, niggas we used to have an argument. Niggas like, <laughs> Who music better, Cleveland or Detroit? Yeah. This is this. I'm like and I'm like nigga, y'all ain't even got no sound. They used to be like nigga, y'all all, all rap off beat. Y'all all do this 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 and that. The same people a couple years later after T Grizzly and all them niggas yep. come out. Nine niggas and they stories playing Babyface Ray. <laughs> yeah, all the sure. shit that these niggas was saying was off beat. Exactly. And or, all like nigga T Grizzly, Sada Baby, all they playing all this shit. Like, that's just because people really just yeah. Yeah. Circus, bro. I mean, that's <laughs> it. It's that's fucked up fact. to say it, but yeah, it's yeah. like it's a it's a science to it, right? Like obviously the the other word for it would be bandwagoning, mm -hmm. but like nevertheless, it's still all the same <laughs> shit. Hell yeah, man! Now be, before we get to the music, man, I got I got beef with you a little bit, dog. Oof. You know what I'm saying? I do my research, dog. You said something that hurt my feelings, bro. Oof. You said that niggas that that niggas talk about Martin, but really Jamie Foxx is a better show. Yeah. <laughs> That is true. That is true. I do my Listen. research, dog. Listen, let me tell you something. That's funny, but it's true. Let me, I'm let, hurt, me dog. let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. When niggas didn't understand with Jamie Foxx no, it's the classic. show, nigga, you would have got you could have got a whole you don't know what you on the episode, nigga, you could have got not only a special guest, you got bops, nigga. You got no, homemade Jamie Foxx bops. You no, know what I'm sure. saying? No, no, that, when he got married to Fancy. When he got married to Fancy, <laughs> singing at the wedding, nigga. What? The, the, <laughs> even even the, the theme songs was just so I'll give sweet. You, I'll give you, no, like, but that Martin, the original, it was simple, but it was like that original Martin fucking intro, dog. Man, Martin, and I also feel like Martin just, in my opinion, there's no diss to Martin, but like, I just felt like it was exaggerated. It was like, I feel like he was just doing too much. Per in my, oh, my, in my opinion, I used to watch it, used to be like, man, I don't know. And maybe another thing too is this, like, I also didn't grow up with no cable at all. So yeah. like, Jamie Foxx was on was, every, It was on regular TV. Yeah, you know, every What was that, regular, Channel 20 and shit? Yeah, yeah, it was on Channel 20 every day around like 4, 5 Yeah, when you got school, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the first thing I see when I come home is that nigga getting out the car. Here I go, here I go. That's when I knew I was at home. I got to start getting on the homework and shit. No, no. I, I, like, that's the first thing you gotta see as soon as I walk in the house. Dog, you know what? You know what's crazy, bro? Cause I had my man on here, dog, uh, Alex Thomas, dog. That was the uh his homeboy, um hey, what was his name? With the with the braids, uh, Fino, whatever his name was, whatever, dog. Shout out to you, cuz. But uh on Jamie Foxx show, now he was related directly to the auntie, right? Right. Okay. His his mom is sisters with the auntie, right? Mm hmm So Jamie Foxx's last name is King, right? Right. So her last name is King. She got her last name from her husband. So how the fuck is Jamie Foxx's last name King? Damn. <laughs> you feel me? I told you. Damn. His auntie, they, he said that he got adopted. They adopted him. And that's how he would have got No, adopted. but he moved, he moved down there from, from what's name, to pursue his uh, acting uh, career. From from Cali. to te I mean, from Texas to Cali. But like I said, he related to, to auntie. The auntie last name is King. Damn, he just fucked me up. He just <laughs> <laughs> this is one another one of those seeing how magic works moment. No, like, <laughs> it's like bro, like if, if your last name King, you should be your, your mom should be brothers and sisters with with uh with Junior, not with the with the mom with the auntie. I mean, or maybe they could have been on some like you know some people they be dating <laughs> brothers and shit. So it could have it could have <laughs> been on that yeah. type of time. Too. That's just crazy, bro. But yeah, I'm looking like. I I'm trying to make everything excuse. <laughs> nigga, don't fuck up my favorite show, man. No, but no, I, I feel what you're saying. Like, if that's something you grew up on, I can see that. But, because, hey, Mark, my shit, though, bro. Mark, and this nigga clown me because I like uh, Wayne Brothers, one of my favorite shows ever. It's a fire, bro. Dog, like, he a hater, dog. He how hated do me. you hate Wayne Brothers? <laughs> that shit is funny no, as He said the reason why it's funny is because of Pops. That's it. No, man. Marlon, you, man, bro. Marlon, yeah. and I feel like that's such a. 
such a sleeper show too. It is. Though. Like, I watched that shit last night before I went to bed. Though. Man, that's that's such a good show. It was it was good for multiple reasons. It was like everybody had their own type of like funny. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, and it was consistent. Like, pops always gonna be like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, on some extra shit. Yeah, and then yeah. you got like Marlon gonna always do some dumb shit. Yeah. Sean gonna always be the big brother, but still doing stupid. Nigga shit. sleep like, on wasn't it too. Remember, uh, he I, I found out he had passed away too, bro. White Mike. Remember the homie White Mike? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he passed away? He, he, he died like 10 years ago, he said. Damn. He, he been gone for a long time. Remember, he had uh, his own show for a hot second. That motherfucker went out so quick. He was like a teacher or some shit. Mm. He was like a funny-ass, clown-ass teacher or some shit, dog. But shout out to a good show. But I had to, I had to pull that up, dog. Nah, you know yeah, saying? man. Yeah, Jamie Foxx definitely better. I, better. It's better than a lot of shows. I feel like the number... It's an underrated show for sure. Yeah. I feel like another other underrated show is My Wife and Kids. That, oh, that what? was a classic. Oh, this is overrated. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm underrated. Tripping. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Underrated. No, no. I'm about to go crazy. Dude. Nah, underrated. That's that's one of my favorite Hell shows. Yeah. I go to sleep to that every day. I yeah, kinda, that's my shit. It wasn't it underrated, too. The uh, George Lopez show. George Lopez was fire. Yeah. That shit was fire. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Hell yeah. Now, um, last time you cried, bro. Last give, time give me, I cried. Give me the last time you cried that didn't have anything to do with death. Now, I know. The first time you cried for a movie was the Six Man. Hold <laughs> oh, the fuck up! Hold oh, the fuck up! Oh, no. Hold up! How the fuck do you know that? Hold oh, on! Oh, 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 wait a minute! See, this wait, why, what? This why you, I guarantee you, you know, you ain't going to podcast. They ain't gonna know about you like that. Cause. What? Oh, oh hey, man. man, that is crazy, bro. That is crazy. Listen, listen. I just I, that is wild. I that I don't even know. I don't did I, how did I? I don't even know if I ever put that information. This nigga, you fast. No, I don't. Hey, no, I'll tell you afterwards. But no, that shit is a tearjerker, though. Oh, t- it yeah, was for sure. man. When dog died, bro. <laughs> When he was in the sky, bro, it, that I cried twice. That was a crazy thing. I cried when dog died. He in the gym. I'm just sitting there going through it. Just can't even control it. At a, I, I, at a young age, I think about this. That was like the. I feel like that's probably one of the only movies that ever yeah. got me like that, man, and they got me man. bad. Like I was there, just bro. That's crying. a great movie too. The Six yeah. Man. Niggas oh, never yeah. talk about that as a as a. Top basketball movie. Like, I don't understand how people just forgot about that bro. movie. Like it wasn't a banger, bro. And then when he like was done for good, yeah. helping him, I'm like, bro. Hell yeah! What? When he, he told him to leave him alone for that little national championship and shit. When he about to go get the shot, he's like, no. Can you run over that bitch? About to grab it, nigga. About to go win the game. <laughs> That is crazy to me, bro. I, I, I don't understand why he wouldn't do that, nigga. I would have been the best basketball player ever. I was so no, confused. I'm like, one pick, nigga. nigga, what? I would have been, I would have been motherfucking scoring a hundred points a day. Hell yeah, what you play for? Uh, who watching Huskies and shit? Yeah, I, dog. That's, that was my shit, sis, man, dog. But yeah, now besides that being something you cried off of, cried. <laughs> last time I cried, last time, but that, that didn't have anything to do with death. Oh man! Because of course, <laughs> Dev gonna be, you know, son. Last time I cried. Last time I cried. Last time I cried. Um, that's a good question, man. <laughs> I think. Um, hmm. I think one of the last times I cried to a non-death related situation, mm-hmm. but I. When I, 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 and it was just like, I was like, you know, I had a pursuit of happiness moment, mm-hmm. bro. You know, he walked out and you just like this, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I, had, I had one of those <laughs> moments before. So, like, I, I was just like, I was like thinking about, I had just got my, so I had an Audi, right? Okay. Just had an Audi A7, right? Mm-hmm. Just got the bitch, right? And I'm just sitting there and I'm like, just thinking, I'm, I'm like, bro, like, I remember walking around getting bottles just so I can go get some chips. No, you know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, like stealing copper pipes out of the cribs and yeah. stealing the aluminum off the side of niggas' houses <laughs> just so I can, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, survive in school and look cool in school and get $2.50 uh, hot wings from the school. You know For what sure. I'm saying? So going from that to, like, be able to see, like, damn. Yeah. Like, I was actually able to, like, get a fucking 
car. Like no, my car sure. got I had before that I had a Benz, yeah. smashed it, got in the, the total, and then like a week later we being able to just have that type of privilege. It just hit yeah. me at once. It was one sure. of those moments where it's like, damn man, I came such a long ass way where no, it was facts. like you know what I'm saying? Like I could have there's a lot of shit that, that could have like possibly have happened like it was so many different bad routes I could have possibly came but yeah I said I definitely think that and then also um no nah, I think it was an, uh, I think I cried after that actually so yeah I, I cried cause a nigga finessed me bro yeah. bad bro I, I'm not like, like I left my car somewhere and a nigga spent like 16,000 on the bro I was sick to my motherfucking Damn. stomach, and I'm like, I'm just sitting there, and the bank was trying to be on track. It took me like, it took me like three weeks to get my money back. So oh. I'm just sitting there, sick as hell. Like I had so much shit that had that I had coming up and all that shit, and that was like, I was like, I was on my, that was like my last damn near at that, that time. So I'm like, damn, this nigga got me got good, good. <laughs> got me so good. Duh. But yeah, I was just sitting, I was, I was just bottlenecked for the, so during that time, I was like, damn, should I? I go back to doing what I was doing, yeah. Nah, but nah, yeah, it was one of those situations where <laughs> I was sure. like fucked up by that shit. Yeah. Can you, can, do you cry? Do you cry now if you watch the uh, Six Man though? That shit nah, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched. You know something crazy? I haven't watched it since. Yeah. I think part of me just know yeah. that like <laughs> I'm just I gotta protect my peace, man. Certain no. movies I can't watch. This is because I, 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 I like like. I have to protect my own peace. Oh, no, for like, sure, for like sure. when they see us, all that shit. Like, mm -hmm. I can't watch a movie like that. Can't yeah. watch a movie like uh, Bro, the watch... Five People. Those, those, those. Oh, Chicago oh, Five. oh, yeah. The, uh, tomorrow, the, um, the shit, the Central kid, Park. Central, Park Central Park. Yeah, oh, I can't, nigga. I can't watch oh, shit oh, like that. I that's can't the first watch... time me and my wife cried together, like hard. <laughs> man, I can't watch. My shit man had like it that. bad. The one who was kind of like off a little bit. The one, remember the one who got tried as a uh, as an adult. And he wasn't even had shit to do. He was, he just came to support his friend, remember? Mm -hmm. And he was in that bitch with the with the with the with the grown men, nigga. Like they was going, they was doing him bad, man. He was in the little confinement by himself, dog. It, you got to think he's seventeen years old, so bro, he still his brain ain't even functioning. He in this bitch with grown men, dog. Grown men that did that, that, that shit, you know what I'm bro. It's okay, crown that movie for real. Like See, that I shit can't hurt. watch shit like that. I, I I can't watch that. I can't watch no Emmett Till shit. I can't Emmett Till. This is the one situation I can't get, like like people watch that shit, but it's like it's no like silver. Line like no. you know usually is like oh yeah, yeah they, they got, got justice for sure, like yeah. these niggas got off the 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 bitch went to her deathbed lying yeah. about this yeah. like 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 shit like that you can't really feel no. like you know what I'm saying like good yeah, about hurt, it. Yeah. you know what I'm saying bro so, I can't watch Crooklyn because my mom passed so I can't watch Crooklyn mm. that shit for me it'll be a bitch like huh I gotta go take a shower <laughs> Crooklyn and um, I can't watch Malcolm X. Cause mm. at the end when he going to do his last speech, when you know how to do a whole Spike Lee scene when you, you being still but you moving, yeah, and they playing that uh Sam Cooke song, and I'm like it's been a long time. I'm like God, yeah, damn. that that'll make you cry. <laughs> that you hear that song, that song by itself, <laughs> you get some head and be that song be playing, you be like it's been too long. <laughs> 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 be wiping your tears. I'm afraid no. to die. <laughs> that shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt. I'll be, I'll be like, God damn. <laughs> Wipe it up. Me and my wife was born though, man. On that, on that, on that uh, Central Park Five, though. Yeah, that, that shit hurt. That's a, that's a, that's one of the ones, man. Any true story where shit yeah. like that's just that fucked up. And pursuit happens like you, you mentioned that movie. Like just him going through that shit with his son, like fuck. <sighs> Man, when he tried to make a game out of that shit, when they was sleeping in the bathroom, he oh, locked yeah. the door and shit. Like, bro, that shit, wow, man, that shit crazy. That's that's stop crying though, nigga. <laughs> yeah, this no. nigga got me looking like a, a <laughs> sad ass nigga. <laughs> nigga, you cried on six man a comedy movie. No, cool. no. <laughs> now you uh you said the most complete album ever is uh Lauren Hill. Oh, that's the the Miss Education Lauren Hill nigga shit though. Everything, <laughs> yeah, no, but it really is though. That is literally the most complete album of yeah. all time. It's not. Do no, you I, do you get mad with her though? Like, like with her just dropping that one album, kind of like ghosting. As far as on the music scene, as far as like you know, saying of course she still she tour, she come to the show when she want to and shit like that. <laughs> I would say this, man. When you, like, I, I kind of not empathize, but I I can understand why. Like mm -hmm. imagine doing something you love, right? Mm -hmm. And you just do it for the love. Now like you could tell when she do this shit, when she did the shit, it was all like everything she was doing because for the love of the art, mm -hmm. and then 
you drop like and it was i don't think it was intentional for like the success that she got from that song i don't think she intended on it being that mm-hmm. but she dropped the most complete album no, for sure. of oh, yeah. all time on the first try <laughs> you know what i'm saying like like they literally nobody yeah. usually your first album is your tester or even if you peek at your first album mm-hmm. it's like you know what i'm saying your next album gonna be this this and this yeah. like like yo you were intending to do that i feel like for her i felt like it was it was such a great album and every th- all the stars aligned mm-hmm. to do that like it'd been impossible for her to do Dude, I can't like like imagine this nigga. This is like <laughs> like all these niggas in the world made albums. Niggas make albums every year. For sure. Niggas do not make a comp- nigga. I was in the classroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> nigga. I I have a picture in my head of how the teacher look when the with the scenes in that bitch. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I had I can't name a lot of albums that yeah. do that for people. And I feel like. Because she came up with the greatest artist album of all time, it's kind of hard to come back yeah, with, with anything, anything yeah, else. Yeah, cause you know what I'm saying? Everything else going to be like, uh, it ain't the first album. You know what I'm saying? Like, only nigga who, who kind of can break that on outside of Drake. Like, I feel like Thriller, even Thriller is the best album right? and, yeah. and, ever. Like, one of the best albums ever, right? For sure. That was a great album. Like, yeah, it no. was... Off the wall. Off the wall. All of them were great albums, but there wasn't a thriller, but at least it was so much stardom, everything behind him, that it was like, he can drop. Michael Jackson could have dropped some bullshit after <laughs> thriller and been <laughs> fine. <laughs> but her, it was kind of like, who was, who was this person? You know what I'm saying? We seen her on Sister Act, but you know what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Like, yeah. But it wasn't like, dang, like, she able to drop this, but so yeah, I, yeah. I I don't get mad at her for real. Like she dropped something else too, but I feel like she was just trying to fight the oppressor with, mm. with that. You know, yeah, which is you know, sure. like it was just fine and all. But like if it was up to me, she just would have been in that bag. Like, yeah, man. again, one more time. But I also understand that's a lot of pressure to put and, on. See, cause, and nowadays, like within the last probably like you know, what I'm saying a couple of years, everything has been kind of like single driven EPs just like mm-hmm. that. But is it album now? It's been like somewhat. Close to a complete album as a recent. Ooh, close to a complete album. Cause you know what? Uh, I think a lot of niggas don't don't like this album, bro. But like, one of my favorite albums is uh, "To Pimp a Butterfly." Oh, I hated it. What? I think I think I read I seen something with you. You don't really care for uh, Kendra too much. I, I am not a huge Kendra. This nigga, you y'all, yeah. y'all I, niggas, I hate listen, y'all niggas. Listen, man. Like here's here's here's. To people both flies like my shit. To, it's it's a he's a, he's a great rapper. Don't yeah. get me wrong, great rapper. I think that to blimp a butterfly. To me, was a like one of the most lyrical, contentual, <laughs> like content wise, yeah. like a great album. Mm-hmm. The beat selection, yeah, I don't know, man. Like yeah. it was not, <laughs> it was not for me. Only yeah. beat that I really liked on there was uh King Kunta, yeah, and, oh, out, hard, yeah. And, and even outside of that, it was just like a lot of like. I don't know. It it, it was for a, 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 that market who yeah. like it. I know like, you said when people listen to Kendrick albums, they always gotta explain it. Yeah, man. They, <laughs> they, they, they nigga, nigga, when he was saying the Crips and Bloods and the Republicans, like, yeah. like, like, for me, I just feel like a music speaks for itself. Like, like, like now, yes, is there albums where there's multiple layers to it? Mm. Absolutely. And, yeah. and, and in those albums, like, yeah, like, they you can break those downs yeah. but i just feel like there's just too much i feel like it's too much intention like like you supposed to be intentional but mm-hmm. being too intentional can be like also yeah down, bad. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was not a big <laughs> to pimp a butterfly yeah see album. I, I love that album i just like that album though but so, so what album will you say is kind of like somewhat complete because as of like so when we say recent how recent we talk 10 years like 10 in that oh last 10 years Oh, ten, ten years, ten, five, five years, ten, five years. I uh, say that. Let, I do five and then okay, ten. Okay, five. So five. Um, because it's hard, bro. Mm, five, five years. I, 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 I mean, a lot of people just disagree with me when I say this, <laughs> but I think that, um, and, and I think that certified lover boy. <sighs> I know, <laughs> nigga. Really ahead, know, listen, certified lover boy, man. Listen. It is one of the most, like, slept on. I think it's a top three Drake album. Okay. And I do also think that, like, a lot of the music on that album, like, touched on so much, so many different types of music. Yeah. Which is why I feel like it's a it's a sleeper. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, because, like, 2018, like, I'm trying to think of anything else, like, 
came out like I, 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 I you know obviously I wasn't a big fan of the last Kendrick album mm-hmm. um, I fought with the last one I mean Got to spin that bitch a couple of times, but yeah, see, that's the thing. <laughs> like, 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 I feel like good music hit on the. Well, that's not true. I feel like I, I, I tried Mr. Morale and in, mm. in the step. Like, I tried it like a lot of times. Yeah. The thing about it is, like, <laughs> like, because like, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I, I like to give music a good faith effort before mm. I just be like, oh, this trash, or this, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because, like, for example, the new um, for all my dogs. Mm. The first time I listened to it, I'm like, this shit. Rip Hamilton, all yeah, mids, yeah. and then I actually started like listening to it. Mm. I'm like, oh shit, this is so, actually. Is do you feel like Drake got a classic? I'm, 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 I'm taking that you a Drake fan. Oh, bitch. and I said Drake don't have a classic. That's <laughs> that's fucking ludicrous. <laughs> like to me, Drake's best album is uh, Nothing Was the Same. Oh, I, I I agree. I definitely think that his best album yeah. was Nothing but Was the Same. When I say classic, I think about. There's no way we can sit here and have this conversation <laughs> and you don't acknowledge that Take Care was a class. Like it was like like if you if your heart is broken <laughs> no, and your you know what I'm saying, you ain't the the number one album you going to probably go to unless you, you know, some people might go to some Mary J. Yeah, yeah all right, you know what? That's fair. For sure. But you definitely going to hit Marvin's room up and shot for me. For sure. Shot like, for me. Yeah, that's your like, heart. Like, like like there's the I just can't do it. Uh, maybe it's a I'll, classic. Everything on there. Practice, maybe because, cameras. Maybe what? because people people like love Drake so much. Like how you say you you try to listen to um Kendrick shit. I be trying to listen, but I be wanting a, I want a rap album, bro. See, I, I, I understand with Drake, you got he kind of came into the game having to be this type of way, like you know what I'm saying. But I just, I just can't say he got like a a certified classic. I feel he like he got good albums, but not a classic. ton of classics, which is crazy. <laughs> like, like nothing was the same was better than Take Care, and I feel like nothing was the same was classic. I feel like yeah. people can st- will still sing from time. Like mm. well, you know what I'm saying with no issue, yeah. worst behavior. Like the the intro on it, Tuscan leather. If Tuscan you like leather. rapping, oh, 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 that was hard. like that. If you he like crazy, t- yeah. rapping, then you definitely got a little Tuscan. He came leather. in that bitch going crazy. Yeah, I feel like I feel like Drake. Yeah, like in his formula, just in general, mm. like the way he do intros and yeah. outros is just like no, my sure. favorite. I thing. feel like Cole, um, uh, Forest Hill Drive is a classic album. The fact, I mean, I I I, I would agree. Yeah, but I would say that. Here's a, here's a, the kicker. Like I don't feel like Cole's Force Hill uh, Drive is fucking with any of like Drake's Damn. top three, four, five albums. All right, man, it was episode one six. <laughs> <laughs> Get this thing out of here, man. man this nigga gotta start grabbing the camera. Like, like. <laughs> start letting the legs down. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, but for real, listen. Here's why I say that. I say that is because this, like, like you got to think about it. Yeah, and I know niggas gonna be niggas always talk shit when I say that shit about Drake, though. Like, like get yeah, Drake. My, my brother had be always talking shit. Like, cause he, we had an argument. I'm like, nigga, I'm like, Drake is the better, got the better body of work, but I say that Pusha T is a better rapper. And we argued about that. Yeah, I don't think that that's true either, my man. Oh, God. I, I, here, 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 here's the truth. Here's the truth. The truth in the matter is, is Drake done already like it's not like like Pusha T like if you the way you say his name I like name, it. <laughs> if yeah. you if you if niggas can if you go to the street right now like no right I can't now, name a you, Pusha T song yeah, niggas niggas <laughs> n- only thing you gonna hear <laughs> grinding <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's the only thing niggas gonna really know and niggas really only know it because that was the first beat niggas used to play oh yeah it was with easy the pen, yeah, you know what I'm saying like, 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 like you know what I'm saying so so yeah I, I can my, my thing is like I just that's, that's like saying and I listen to Daytona like I, that's yeah. the thing I, I'm a I'm a yeah. music enthusiast no, so I, hard, yeah. I listen to the shit he good but I don't think I don't like when Drake is in his rapping bag. Ain't nobody mm. really fucking with him on the rapping. Like yeah. he when he trying to be on some. Like I don't know if you heard Scary Hours the, the three the uh-huh. new joint. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna lie. He came back with some. He came. Yeah, like, he came back punching. Though, that, like. that, that, that's. Yeah. I feel like he can do that, but, but I feel see, like I him and Kanye album do like that. that. See, people want that, but the thing I, is, this by, oh, I, I'm all over the place. But this about to tell me a lot about. I know what you're gonna say too. Oof. What's uh Kanye West's best album? Oh. Ah, I'm uh 
shit, I, I, my beautiful dark. I knew he was gonna say that shit. I'm not that. gonna lie. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. So college dropout, like if you would have asked me, like <laughs> college dropout was fire as yeah. fuck. But have you listened to dr- college dropout recently? Uh, been a couple years. Probably. I I I, I listen to college dropout. You trying like, to say in age, right? It. It, it feels like it was 2004 when you listen to a oh. lot of those songs. Mm-hmm. It feels like some of those songs, like 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 breathe in, breathe out. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like like I don't think if you drop that today, niggas would be in this bitch breathing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> let them hoes fight. Nah, uh, but I feel like my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, like was the foundation of so many new the new sound of music that in 808s and heartbreak mm-hmm. that was like the foundation of yeah. all the new music nowadays like the production the way he delivered like like the delivery on it the way he the over oh, every everything about that album screams classic yeah. and it's like that's probably like another very complete yeah. album because when you say that because usually when, when um the reason why i asked that question i knew you was gonna say those two albums was because drake usually like when people are like a big fan of drake it's those two albums that they love from Kanye West as well. Mm, yeah, that's probably true. It makes <laughs> sense. I, I mean, it's those are cla- like like that was. I didn't think that he was gonna do something better than College Dropout because I think that that's a complete album yeah. for that time. It was just like everything was going well. Mm-hmm. But my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, that nigga was spitting. Yeah. The whole I'm gonna have to go time. back and listen to those two albums because everybody always talk about like 808 and Heart Yeah, 808 and Heartbreak. Heartbreak. It's. It sounds like music today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He For sure. pioneered all that shit. Dog, that shit crazy. I, I knew it, dog. I knew it, dog. Shout out to, uh, to the Drakes and shit, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Drake fans Drake shit. fans, you know what I'm saying? Now, with you, man, I know your first project, um, Room 329, mm-hmm. dropped five years ago, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that, the process, and like you just thinking like this this album about to be the thing that just take you over the top as far as like a deal and shit. I thought I thought I was about, I thought I was making it out the hood. I was like, I'm exactly. not, I'm, Mama, quit your job. Hell yeah. Nah. Um. So room three twenty nine. The reason why. So the reason why I was entitled to room three twenty nine was because we was in a hotel and the room was three twenty nine. I was at. So f- like for context, I was in. Uh, this I had just started a job at Amazon as like a manager there, mm-hmm. and they like have you go on this thing called a short term. Uh, like. A leave or some shit like that or a STA no a short term uh, assignment mm-hmm. so <clears throat> it was in uh, what was that it was in somewhere in us like a suburb of Chicago mm-hmm. so I'm out there and the whole time I'm like bro I just gotta get my, I gotta do a tape man I, I haven't did a tape I wanna drop a tape I was supposed to drop a tape so I'm like I, at this time, I just got my signing bonus. You know mm. what I'm saying? I, I, mean, I was living like a king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let me just bring my my, my my man's Mark out here. I had my friend Shamira. She came out. Mm. Like I had all like my my, my boys come out. Like they came. They all came to the uh, hotel. We all set it up in like two days. We basically mm. did it two days because I only had two days off, which was yeah. some bullshit. But, <laughs> but, like it was not like oh regular work day two days. Like I was working like 13 hours a day and still only had two days off. Damn. Yeah. But, but yeah. So we had um, set the whole situation up, mm. and I'm like, you know what? Let's just um, let's just try to knock all this shit out. So that we stayed up. I literally was up for like 36 hours straight, yeah. just creating music, getting food, and like really just experiencing the vibe. And it was mm. like it was a great turnout to do it in that short amount of time. Like get all those songs out. Of, and not only that, like I had like my friend Shamir. Like that was her first time ever like recording something, so mm. it was like a good experience there. Mm. Nah, it was it was that it was just so much like that was going right about it, and mm. it was just my, like a new it, for me it was a new sound because I was just trying to rap the whole time, so I was like, mm. you know what, let me let me tap into like this like vote like melodies and see how that goes. So there was a lot of like I, I I feel like that's one of my my. I wouldn't say it's like it's not. I don't like it more than like Kid Boy Show. I like that one more, but yeah. I definitely think Room Three Twenty Nine is where I felt I, I remember the feeling of fresh. For it was sure. just, everything was felt fresh. Like my friend made most of the beats on that bitch, so it was like it was perfect mm-hmm. for me. 
so yeah I, I definitely did that i recorded the process i paid for a videographer for, and photographer for that time too like like i did the whole yeah. like situation because i knew that i wanted to capture yeah. i haven't still to my day to this day i got the bottle we signed because i don't I drink you had the motherfucking uh, the wilches. Wilches. yeah, yeah but i had everybody sign the wilches. <laughs> i still got that bitch to this Man. day and it's like it's more so one of those things where i i'm looking at it from i, I i'm grateful to have been in a situation where i could have you know what i'm saying like create a music experience not only for myself or everybody else for around sure. me that's dope so yeah I, I i fuck with that would you do something like that for the next project you dropping like would you do something as far as like breaking down the process you know what I'm saying or how you making these songs and who you working with shit like that Nah, only reason why is because I, I couldn't do that now because I, since I've recorded so much my tape I, I i for context i had my tape done and i would say february my tape was done mm-hmm and then I started, I, the more you record, you'd be like, ah, <laughs> yeah, I, I just this created shit. some fire shit. Yeah, yeah. And it's this constant cycle of like, damn, is this going on the tape or not? Mm. Ah, no, I don't think this. And it's really, what it really is, is music exhaustion. So as an artist, you listen to your shit so much that like you become numb to like whether or not. Like I had Tristan, I had recorded that in December mm-hmm. of last year. And I ain't drop it till like October. And the yeah. reason why it was kind of like, because shit, I'm about to, like, I, I got so much shit, other shit that I want to drop. Mm-hmm. And you stop and think, like, oh shit, I forgot about this. Oh, let me <laughs> just go ahead and drop this. So, so that's a good problem to have, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a <laughs> great <laughs> problem to have, yeah. like, be able to just create music. So it's one of those things where now I feel like my next rollout is going to be a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to capture the end scenes, but I do want to ke- capture, like, the song clip. So every tape that I do I always like click up with like very like close group of people mm-hmm. play it and we go through and decide what's gonna be on the song tracks yeah, and what's not for sure and like I, I feel like that process I really want to capture it um in, a, in its full entirety I wanted to do it last time but my videographer at the time mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was long story. Long story with that man. For bro. sure. Now speaking of, that's the you know that, that full uh, project you dropped the Cute Boy Show. Um, did you feel like that project got the love it deserved, or it was like some more shit that you could have did to to you know what I'm saying put it out a little bit more? I think that <clears throat> I think I I put a lot of work into that, and mm-hmm. I but I also I was bottlenecked by a lot of a lot of shit that didn't have shit to do with mm-hmm. me with that tape. Which is unfortunate. So, so it's, I'm trying to say without throwing people in the bus, oh, yeah, but okay, I gotta okay, also, yeah, don't throw the bus, man. but I also gotta, <laughs> I, gotta I gotta tell my truth. <laughs> nah, uh, nah. Um, I I definitely think that like that tape was, it was it had so much momentum in the drop, and when it when I started to, um, really do videos and a lot of the stuff. The things was spinning in the right direction. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, not sitting here saying, oh, I was, supposed, I was gonna make it like right off that tape, but I definitely felt like there's so much on that tape that's. Mm that's good i feel like there's certain songs like uh bad little bit is one of the songs where i feel like was gonna be a a banger but mm. because i was bottlenecked by shit that wasn't in my control yeah. like it was like next thing you know you find yourself waiting on shit forever and like that's the biggest thing that's one thing i hate about the music industry mm. is because like once you pay you have the discretion of whoever is the the said creator or or um, artists or talent, mm-hmm. you have to just wait on them. Yeah. Like versus like 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 for example, I just did something with City Star EJ, right? And this is like the perfect experience, bro. Mm-hmm. Like shout out to City Star EJ. We recorded. He sh- I shot the video like the one mic. The nigga gave it back to me the next day. Yeah, you know quick, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like now nah, I don't expect next day from everybody. You know what I'm <laughs> no, saying? For sure. But, but some people will have you waiting forever, forever, yeah. and they'd be like, "Nigga, you ain't even got no job. What you doing? Like, <laughs> no, this sure. is all you do." Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you got a job with it, okay. You yeah. know what? I understand that niggas get busy. This is your side hustle. Do your thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. Don't sell it like, oh, I'm gonna have this to you, this, this, and this. I and hate when don't, people do yeah. that. Like, when Keep it real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, another good person, um, too, is uh, is undefined lyrics. Uh, Ty made this, yeah, he he really good about that, too. Like, even if you do go behind, like, if you go, like, you know, standard industry standards, two weeks, mm-hmm. but, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay, I, I go on tangents <laughs> a lot, as you can see, that ADHD be kicking in like a motherfucker, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, no, I definitely feel like I was a lot with that project. I was bottlenecked by a yeah. lot of shit that wasn't in my control. For sure, so it was. And like I said, it was a dope project. And speaking of bad little bit, uh, top three songs on the project for you: Mines, the season finale, Shake, and Bad Little Bit. Like season finale to me, that was, that was my favorite song on there. Yeah, it was like it was like my most vulnerable. Like I feel like it's so interesting. I didn't. I didn't even. I, I wanted that to be the the outro because I felt like it was very outro ish. Mm-hmm. But I, I didn't expect people to like really gravitate it as much as they did. But they a lot of people love. Uh, I'm saying a lot of people like I got like millions, of <laughs> but like the like the people in my with that I know listen to it really liked um, season finale because it was so. Um, it was so authentic and mm-hmm. it was just so real and I like got to explain like nigga I like like my like my favorite part on that song is like I never asked my mom for field trips. I knew she was stressing. Like that was like a fact. Like I, yeah, I asked my mom. And he brought for, that that's what I was gonna put on talk about the bars. I was gonna say that. Like, <laughs> like I talked I talked about my, I talked um I was talking to my mom about that recently. I'm like, nigga, I remember one time I went to, this is like when I was in sixth grade. It was, it fucked me up for life. <laughs> like, cause I was like, I was like, um, I, you know, I was, I was a very transparent kid. So I was like, I was like, no, nah, I asked my mom, hey, can I get $5 for this? She's like, I don't have it. I'm like, all right, cool. All right, cool. I, yeah. I didn't think of it. For it was sure. like, so they asked me, yeah, are you going to the future? I'm like, no, nah, my mom said she ain't have $5. Yeah. And the nigga was like, yo, nigga, your mama ain't got $5. <laughs> <laughs> niggas started going on my shit. Nigga, niggas was I was like, it was like nigga, five dollars? <laughs> nigga, that was when the five dollar foot loan. Like, hey, man, your mama cannot buy you a foot loan right for now. Sure. How ready that I'm bitch? like, like I'm like nigga. Ever since then, I was like, I was like, I was, it was a it was an experience I needed because I needed like I feel like at that moment for I was like, okay. If I ever want to go on a field trip again, I'm not about like I'm not, and it's not no diss. My mom did the best she could, no, for but sure. she she had twelve kids. Yeah. Like she was busy, like you know what I'm saying. It was she was working all the shit all the time, so I had to figure out how to get my own money. And, and it's twelve y'all for real. Yeah, I got. Oh, siblings, I thought you man. said it. Damn, y'all game for real. Yeah, for real. I got uh, eight sisters, three brothers, all same fam, all same mom, and dad. Damn. Yeah. That's what's up though. Same mom and dad. Yeah, <laughs> facts though. Like hey, I wish I had a whole bunch of sisters and brothers though. Yeah, it's it's a wild situation. <laughs> you do it's it's great, but at times it'd be over. Yeah, yo, I could be, I could bet I could bet Christmas is hard sometimes. Oh, Christmas is no, we we secret Santa. That is, <laughs> you know, ain't no way, ain't no way. I'm about to get everybody give no. Duh, nigga, sure. I get I get a, a sibling and they kid. That's it. <laughs> Type shit though. Duh, for sure. So what's your uh, top three songs from the project? Uh, from Cute Boy Show. Mm. Oh, ooh, that's a good question. I think the boy freestyle for show. Okay. I think. I just love it. I just love the 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 Monica. I love I love a, I love nineties R and B, and I feel like I like Hell a lot of my lot, especially on my tape. Is you gonna hear a lot of nineties R and B samples? I'm mm. probably probably gonna get taken <laughs> off because <laughs> how many samples is gonna be on that bitch? But um, but nah, I, I definitely think the boy the boy freestyle. Mm-hmm. I think um, stuck. Okay, stuck is I feel like that song. It was just, it was a vibe. I, I there's, I never like stopped liking stuck. And then yeah, bad little bit is definitely. Yeah, that shit hard. Hell yeah, I like, like that fuck with like, that shit. And that's just the most frustrating because I, 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 I got a bone <laughs> to pick with that person because that video was shot in 2022. Yeah. What you do and it again? I still didn't get the video back. Um, what I do? Uh, the, the video for that again. The video, I, 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 I probably will. I probably will because I feel like it's just that's a good song. That it's just not like you really want to put that video out too. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I, I feel like I gotta. I feel like I gotta do it. Yeah. It's unfortunate because I that's my dog, and you know, and it's not. We we kind of fell out, but it's like because like man, yeah. nah, fuck it. I'm just gonna say like I feel like because I, I I feel like I'm just giving this nigga too much grace right now, bro. I, I pay I pay a substantial amount of money for a certain amount of videos yeah. and niggas ain't get their video back. So sure. it's like nah, I'm like so like a song like Bad Little Bit. Yeah. I just and the person that I shot it with was like so cool. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? She did it for the love and she got like hella followers and shit. So it was mm-hmm. like it was the perfect situation. So yeah, yeah. it I, is. I ain't brought up bad memories, dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, that no, nah, but it is what it is. I I, I definitely yeah. feel like that's like like sure. it's a song I gotta revisit for sure. For sure, for sure. Now I do talk about the bars. You already mentioned the whole uh you you explain that what's name with the whole filter thing you uh on shake you say uh how the fuck you up but put the gang on last well you, you do you feel like like you know what I'm saying a lot of niggas be 
they always be on, you know, bragging this, that, and third, but they, they people struggling. They ain't even got to be friends. It could be family members, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Yeah, I definitely think that, like, like, I, I, I see both sides of it, right? Like, because, like, I also understand that sometimes you got to safeguard the bag because niggas get the bag and, like, fuck it up for everybody. Mm -hmm. Like, I done seen that happen so many times where you put somebody onto a play. And they just put the whole hood on the play, and now the play gone, mm -hmm. just like that. Like, yeah. they, like, <laughs> and now you broke trying yeah. to help other niggas, right? Yeah. But what I what I mean by that too, though, is like it be so many people who people around them be down bad, and they can't help them, mm -hmm. but they just decide, decide not to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And not even on some like, like I feel like for me, and maybe it's just the big family background. Like I feel like I definitely. If I got some motion or I know so, uh, about a play, I'm going to put my people on my play. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And I'm going to let them know, like, hey, don't be putting everybody else on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because it might fuck up the bag for everybody. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm definitely going to make sure my man's in there, everybody's straight. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, like, like, and, and the main reason why I did that, because it was a lot of people, like, it was, I, I created that song in 2021. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For and sure. it's like, a lot of people was up, and it was a lot of people who was struggling, too, but didn't mm -hmm. understand how people was up so much. And it's just like, how the fuck y'all niggas really going to do that? And for sure, your man's is out here struggling. Yeah, like, yeah, it's just crazy. Crazy to me. Yeah, crazy yeah. To me. People Not, really like that. Stay on that same shit on season finale. You say I gotta touch a meal before I get a deal, so I just know how to eat. Are you saying that because you don't want to get the deal first and then never experience having money, and then you just fucking up the shit, and opposed to having that money before the deal coming, you kind of know how to like navigate. Yeah, like, like, yeah, and that's again. Yeah, I feel like for me, I, I, I don't want to. I just seen. You hear all those horror stories in music that like niggas spend their bag, they spend their all this shit. Like mm -hmm. I don't want, I I want to know what to do with money, money like that. Like having an M on hand, like like I feel like just for like I feel like I've been making six figures since I was eighteen, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like even as I as as I made six figures, I still to this day am stupid as fuck when it comes to money. Like just <laughs> yeah. dumb. Like I, I done seen I done seen white people at my jobs and shit like make way less than me, mm. but have way more. Like yeah. Yeah. niggas got cribs fully paid off. <laughs> niggas got the best whip in the planet. Niggas got <laughs> niggas I, I done seen they oh make a mistake and show their bank account. Niggas got like ten times the amount in my account. Yeah. Like in a four hundred one k like. Damn, like you know what I'm saying, but that's just like, like so. So for me, I feel like I gotta, I gotta know what it's like to feel him, so that niggas can't control me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing, like, cause be able to put that money over your head and you control you once you get that no, deal. Sure. I want to be able to be like, nigga, I don't need a deal. Let me negotiate the terms of my shit. <laughs> yeah, hell versus yeah. like, nigga, I signed for five dollars. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, sure. put, me what saying? put me on, man. Just put me on, man. Put me on. Nah, I say, bro, got bars, bro. Like on bad little bit. You say he say used to date fat chicks. I used to rolls. <laughs> Oh, now I got a bitch with a fatty and she got body gold. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard this like, <laughs> listen, I got in so much trouble with that line. <laughs> That's why. But, <laughs> but uh, here's the thing, though. I mean, it's it's a, like uh, it was that uh, that statement. Is completely true. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like I did use you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, back was a little bit, you know what I'm saying? A little big back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? A little, little healthy. Little, 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 little healthy back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But hey, but yeah, I, I had I had a there's a there's a lot of shit on that tape where I was just saying just some yeah, it was wild like, shit. It was a lot of shit that oh my god damn they going in, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like one of the shit you say on shake, you nigga say uh two K is on him and now I got got him uh got a glitch. Yeah, so yeah. Like, I'm like, See, like, I was saying some crazy <laughs> shit. I was man. Now you get, yeah, two K's on. Now you got a glitch. That was on shake. I'm like, this may be saying some shit, but you, you know what I'm saying. I fuck with it though. I appreciate. What about that. the one shit on uh on uh what's name on Tristan? You say a uh, bitch gave <laughs> bitch gave me hair. I went soft because her hair is Ah, uh, that really happened. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Listen, bro. Like it was like her hair smelled like 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 burnt. You know, obviously like. Duh. It was uh, it was so much going wrong with that day. It's just in general, like she already was just fucking me up with her being on a date, and she had like she was eating salad, but it's all over Duh. her face the whole time. So I was already fucked up by that. <laughs> and then she came back, like she was giving me head, and her like you 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 could see how dry her mouth was, like <laughs> like on the situation. So I'm like Duh. I was already irritated. So her breath was stinking. Her head smelled like old grease and 
And oh, that shit funny too. Uh, flat iron, like an <laughs> old ass flat iron, bro. Like in tea, it smelled like tea too. So I was, it was just a whole bunch of bad smells. So I was like, I literally just got so mad. I was like, you know what? I, yeah, I had played it off cool. I'm like, you know, I'm just really not in the like the the mood today. I just had a fucked up day. Like, let's just chill for a minute. And I just. I, that bitch, once she left, <laughs> block. Dog, that's it funny. Now, uh, one song, is it, is it Rat Attack? Yeah. You said uh, Instagram page and it's private. That's the type of chick I made my bitch. No, that, listen, I do not like, listen, one thing for sure, two things for certain. I can't. Friendly motherfucker. Friendly, man. Listen, bro, because the thing is, niggas, we see, we take pride in anything. Like, <laughs> like niggas would be like, shit, that's his girl, but she be liking my pictures. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now you, now everybody, you know, thinking that your girl just out here yeah. wilding because she liked the picture. Like, it'd be, it'd be certain shit like that where I was just like, I just don't like, like, I, if it was up to me, like, and this is fucked up to say, if it was up to me. Like, I would personally just have my girl, like, out the fucking way. <laughs> yeah, like, sure. I give her everything she need in the crib. No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, nah, 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 I'm joking. But, but in, in real <laughs> life, though, like, like, in the basement. You, you, did you eat that? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it be, it just, it's very difficult to, like, deal with someone who, like, super sociable. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, mm -hmm. e everybody read the situation. Niggas always read the situation wrong. Mm -hmm. They always gonna be like, yeah, she, that's because she was on my dick. When really, they just trying to have a conversation for sure. like that. And now you at your crib just looking at your girl mad as hell for no reason. She hell just yeah. sitting there happy as it can be. She's just, yeah. like, mm, trifling nigga. ass, <laughs> cheating, motherfucker. You. Hell yeah. Hey, remember Instagram used to show you the pictures that niggas was liking? No, nah, man, that was, that was crazy work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was crazy work. Like, damn, you like 15 is nigga crazy shit? Like, here's your ass. I always catch nigga like everybody. <laughs> man, I used to, I, I remember one time I got, I, I got to a heated argument, man. Cause on the situation, it was like, you like this shit. And at the time, girl, I was dating at the time, it was, it was, I had like my ex shit. Yeah. She, oh, she was shit. like, she was like, Oh, so you want to be with her, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then she yeah, started this dude. whole thing. I'm like, fucking Instagram. Nowadays, I feel like everything they make now is fucking crazy. Like, nigga, I did not know about um when I was... <laughs> I'm about to put myself out there. Fuck it. <laughs> now, I, I, I did not know about <laughs> the recently deleted situations like uh -huh. in Apple. So, like, I used to just delete shit. Yeah. And be good. I used to be like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't know. And... Quickly found out. <laughs> That's the thing. So yeah, definitely one of those situations where you know. For sure. man, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, that shit. Instagram used to get niggas in trouble for sure, dog. Nah, facts though. All right, last one I'm gonna say is um, you say 26 with no kids. Uh, I'm a catch. Uh, can't trust. Could mm -hmm. could you? I, you know what I'm saying? Uh, could you be in a situation with somebody who got kids even though you don't have kids? Who? Um. It depends. I, honestly, I, I, I've been in situations where, where women, had, women had kids before. It's not really like, it's not even really the kids aspect of it. It's the father. It's the, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah man. You sure. don't, you never know. Like, like, and women ain't going to tell you the mm -hmm. real situation till you knee deep. Yep. Like, like you, you know what I'm saying? You, they'll be like, oh yeah, we barely talk. He just, he, you know, he's still, he's just a little, he ain't over the whole time this nigga be at the crib <laughs> waiting, like, really lying on her For doing sure. this whole like his this nigga is caught up on her on some like he'll kill you you know that's how niggas get killed niggas get backdoor mm -hmm. because they crazy they be with a girl who got a crazy ass baby daddy who ain't gonna let him go mm -hmm. and these niggas be serial killer Hell killers, yeah. no I, for sure I, yeah so yeah i can't oh uh, that's the only thing about dating a girl that i don't like with kids that i wouldn't necessarily fuck with is just like the mm -hmm. baby daddy aspect of it because they every, every, like I, I and it's just honestly like if you have a kid with a, a with a woman a lot of times it you won't just be like oh yep just getting over it yeah. like you know what i'm saying it's <laughs> always sure. it's always some and, some extra shit yeah. that come along with it and especially like me I, like I, I know I'm a motherfucking catch. If, if, if a nigga is jealous and you pull up to your crib and you see a Benz in the back, in the front, yeah. nigga, they yeah. definitely gonna be whatever energy they bring and they bring in times ten. You know what I mean? Oh, so, you gonna leave me for this nigga? Oh, he got a, This nigga got a Benz. Duh. Bitch, open the door. Yeah. Open the door, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> nigga gonna fuck up my car, nigga. Ah, oh, hell no. Nah. That's What's the up? one. That's the only reason why. Like, it's nothing against the women or yeah. right, or even the kids aspect. Of it. It's, I don't it's, know, it's, like, it's about the kids. 
but I I just love my safety a little yeah, bit yeah, more. No, you for hear sure. what I'm saying? For sure, dog. That's a fat dog. I be getting towards the end, bro. Making a band. I know you know about making a band back in the day. D mm -hmm. Diddy got a lot of shit going on right now. But <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of shit going on. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Diddy. Dog. Shout out to Diddy. That nigga dodged. <laughs> boy, boy. That nigga said, oh, 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 oh take the money. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's crazy. That's a whole other story, dog. Like, because... You just don't be knowing how these niggas is in real life, bro. Facts, though. These niggas you look up to could be real life crazy weirdo niggas. Like, you just never know, dog. <laughs> they just put out a story that that nigga had, uh, I don't know how true it is, dog, but they said that that nigga had, had Wally over the balcony, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I said, they said he had him dangling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That, shit that sound like some shit. Did, did he? Did he sound like when uh, when niggas made Suge Knights? Nice, that yeah. nigga, that yeah, nigga dog. really was dangling niggas out the window, sure. blowing up cars and shit. Goddamn, this niggas, nigga, niggas probably got nigga some wild moving lives. like Don Corleone. Duh. But we do a thing, making a band, bro. Your album, Q album, you know what I'm saying? But you got uh, you and four other people. To make this one album, dog. It could be producers, it could be rappers or singers, mm -hmm. whoever. This is your album, you and four of the people. Who you got, man? Well, you know, already know who the who the top one on that list is gonna be. For sure. It's yeah, gonna, I already you know. know. Aubrey Graham for sure. For sure. On there at number one. All right, there's um, you and Drake and that motherfucker. Drake. Uh I definitely um producer wise. Um Timberland. Okay. He make the best beats. That nigga's like his beak like his beat collection ain't nobody fucking with. Yeah, I see you got that hair transplant too. I need, to, I need to get that shit cut. Damn, man. If my shit, if my shit ever leave, I, I, yeah, I but they, they got a curly do it. Shit. I wish I had some hair. Yeah, my shit used to be, my shit used to be like that, dog. Then one day, nigga, it was, it was a wrap. See, nigga, I'm, I'm definitely getting that shit, nigga. I'm gonna be like, yep, I'm gonna get the feather fade. No yeah. problem. That's what it is. They just take the hair off the sides, put it on the top. I'm gonna get the feather fade. Yeah. <laughs> that shit hurts too, though, especially like around this time when you get crispy for holidays, nigga. Now nah, I'm in the basement cutting my own hair, like yeah. fuck. You know what I'm saying? Shit, Shit. I'm, I'm definitely, if that nigga would take my hair from any part of my body, nigga. <laughs> nigga, fuck me talking about. I'm going to be um, in that bitch. You know, you know what I'm saying? No, but, but Timbaland. Um, you, Timbaland, Drake. Timbaland, Drake. I do V's. Okay. And, um, hmm, my fifth option. I would have... Damn, that's a good question. I do Brent Fayaz too. Okay, that's Brent. your fire. Yeah, that, yeah, because I feel like I feel like the way he do his music and shit. I feel like I can like, yeah. you know, what I'm saying piggyback sure. off that shit. For sure, young nigga shit versus some shit you been through. What's some things that you believed in as a young eighteen year old that you look back on now like that was some dumb shit? Oh, young eighteen year old versus what I do now. Mm-hmm. I, oh, <laughs> this is something you, I, I, I learned very, I learned very quickly. Um, well, I didn't say learn it quickly. I feel like I've, I've understood, mastered the understanding of it. Mm -hmm. Um, money don't equate to like keeping, uh, a bitch for real like yeah. it, like i used to think like nigga, all i have to do is get bread <laughs> nigga. Yeah. It's, ain't no bitch gonna want to leave like <laughs> especially in college nah these them, nigga. <laughs> and i was getting paid yeah. and bitches was still <laughs> bullshit nigga. <laughs> that was one of those situations where you had i had to learn i'm like oh yeah this is the game like sure. oh and, and i was i'm dressing up everything just so the girl i was trying to talk to talk to the nigga with the white beater the yeah, whole yeah, yeah. Was there, with the, with the, sure. with with the, the flip flops and with the ramen noodles nigga, yeah, yeah. nigga took her on uh waffle house dates hell like, yeah hell yeah though because when you when nigga become invested in asking how your day going because like i said i say this a lot this nigga be saying be a little things you gotta do mm -hmm. that's gonna make the motherfucker stay with you nigga yeah. not even not money Money. I yeah. mean, people like that part of it, but that that that's like, not gonna he, keep him. I always, at all. I always credit him though when he was like, "Nigga, you got it'd be a little thing. Oh, you got your nails done. Oh shit, you did this with your hair day. Like different shit. Cause when another nigga say that shit, and nigga who live with you ain't saying it, like damn. Yeah. It's like nigga. So cause you always in, you in competition even when you not even trying to be. You know what I'm saying? So that yeah. shit though. No, that's what I'm no for sure. Now at the end, man, I got this thing called what's worse. I give you two scenarios, two things, and you tell oh, me which one's worse. What's worse, your kids catching you having sex or you catching your parents having sex? Oh, see, definitely my parents because I ain't gonna lie, I, 
I'm not going I'm be like get the fuck out and I'm gonna continue to go yeah, like sure. it is what it is nigga you yeah. you you chose this fade cuz it's usually what happened is I'm not going to be just out having sex yeah. out in the open so my kids can see if they yeah. open the door they wrong. and you know what I'm saying they doing something they ain't supposed to do they ain't knock none of that shit like yeah. Hey gang, that's on you. Hey, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, like, you, you, mom face down, you ain't like. about to fuck up my pussy because y'all, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, on some shit like that. Nah, fuck that. I'm about to still get some pussy, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just gonna have to close the door and live with that. you gonna For have sure. to uh, eat that. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> eat that, little nigga. For sure. <laughs> All right, what's worse, man? Having to wear the same drawers for a couple of days or having to wear the same socks for a couple of days? Oh shit! Definitely draws, nigga. <laughs> Yo, draws, nigga. The first day, if you sweating hard, nigga, you gonna be feeling, and you gonna smell. You gonna smell like your feet wearing the same socks every day. Like, as that, you can get away be with a little that. Bit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could put some powder in the shoe. <laughs> yeah. You know, so so it ain't too 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 bad. But yeah. nigga, wearing the same boxes every day is crazy work, nigga. The for sure that bitch is going crazy. Nigga. Yeah, the, the and all they just sweat. Ugh. Yeah, nigga took a couple of shits and shit. <laughs> yeah, took shits. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, you know. Yeah, bro. I can't. I can't go. You done farted in that bitch for four four days worth of farts. Yeah, for sure. That's like. Farting in the jar, damn near. <laughs> like, <laughs> duh. What's uh? What's worse, getting caught by your parents being your meat, or getting caught by your girl being your meat? Damn, that's a good one. I'll be able to take my ring off. Like, nigga, fuck, I'm cheating. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, like, he's like, sorry, baby. Sorry, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I don't know. I feel like, him. I feel like your girl catching you. I feel like your girl catching you sometimes. Because it, 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 I've been caught by a girl before. Yeah. It was definitely one of those things where it's like, <laughs> she's like, nigga, you got me. Why do you need man. to? Do that, but you know, sometimes you know, yeah, yeah, real quick, you want to for, yeah. for the love of the art, you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like practice, nigga. <laughs> you still gotta go to the gym and shoot that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, man, yeah, like, like, but yeah, I, I, my, I definitely think my mom, and if I like my parents walked in on yeah. me, like, I'm, I'm full blown beat mode, like, <laughs> I gotta call up my mom's boyfriend, nigga, like, like, you said what? I gotta call up my mama boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hurt man like I was peeing, dog. Like, full break mode. Did, did, did he ever? Did he ever? He didn't like, say no. He just closed door back, dog. He's like, oh, to this me. day we ain't talked about that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like 15, 16, <laughs> nigga going crazy on Cooper, dog. Ah uh, man, that is hilarious, dog. bro. Oh man, I don't know what I did as a stepdad. Like, I know he probably, you probably. You can't know. even say that. You can't even be like, hey man, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause then you be like, man, shut your ass up. <laughs> I know him and my, my mom probably had a good laugh off that shit, bro. All right, what's worse, dog? The relationship ending and somebody is hanging on. The relationship ending and your girl saying she gonna kill herself, or a relationship ending and she saying she gonna kill you. <laughs> I thought that was a simple one, nigga. <laughs> if she ending the relationship, nigga. I mean, it's fucked up because obviously I, lo I would love that person, but like, yeah. Fuck it. Is, is either him or me? Mm -hmm. or me? No, you know sure. what I'm saying? Like, we're, we're, in the words of Drake, I always talk about Drake quotables. He's like, is either him or me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but but yeah, definitely. We're good. Uh, I'm choosing myself. For sure. I got to choose me, Lucius. I got to um, me first. You talked about this, you know what I'm saying? The persona of being a rapper, you got to sell yourself and shit. What's worth being a, being a rapper wearing fake jewelry or being a rapper and wearing fake designer clothes? Mm, definitely fake jury because niggas gonna see that shit from my way. It's so many everybody who do rap like they be they be knowing like they they know the shits like mm. they know how shit's supposed to look, how it's supposed to sound, how it's supposed to glare. Yep. And not only that, it's like niggas like because of that they want to know like when artists usually buy shit. The natural curiosity, like, okay, what makes this different than this? Mm. Oh, how can you tell when this is this? I just want to know when niggas is fake. For you sure. know, so so a lot of times niggas already know. So yeah. you you you'll look at them and be like, oh yeah, that shit fake, and then immediately they start treating you like a bozo. Yeah, you for sure. Yeah, yeah. Like, immediately, <laughs> yeah, designer is like, all right, maybe you you made a bought it. Nigga might finesse. Demon, you know, no, yeah, shit. for but sure. Like, you wear a fake jewelry, niggas gonna be like, oh yeah, this nigga lame. <laughs> nigga wear a big, big ass P I M P motherfucker chain. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's worse? That big stepper that. Certified stepper chain that everybody got. Hell yeah. <laughs> What's worse, being a tall nigga with short arms or being a short nigga with long legs? 
Like you know, it's this part like say we 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 short. Say say we short. Like you know, me and you kind of short. Right. But our legs fucking we stand up and we fucking our legs six eight. But nigga, our body part niggas, our top part is just short as hell. Oh man, damn. Um, shit. <laughs> I mean, all of those are kind of unfortunate. I, I definitely say I'd rather be a tall nigga with short arms because <laughs> I feel like I mean you can you can kind of hide short arms. Yeah, but you like, unless they like dinosaur <laughs> joints. <laughs> Then is that's a different story. But if they like, all right, they kind of like here. You know what I'm saying? Like I, 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 can, I can live with that nigga. I ain't. I mean, I probably wouldn't try to play basketball or anything. For sure, they can't shoot that bitch. You can't shoot, but, but outside of that, you know, you still get the perks of being a tall nigga. Yeah, for being, sure. Being short with long legs is crazy work. Like, <laughs> like you would like. What does that even mean? You what, how, how you how you get in pants? Like, like I feel like. But even though I'm short, I still feel like pants is such a weird. It is. Like, like. Like niggas who tall, they can just go and wear pants yeah. and it come to the place where it's supposed <laughs> to stop. Short niggas, like you can't be short because nigga, you might wear a size thirty three, but they don't they don't make thirty three twenty six. Yeah. They make yeah. they make thirty three thirties minimum. Yeah, so sure. all your pants got motherfucking they all stacked at the bottom. Like even right now, I'm looking at my pants like like pants are like tall niggas, they pants they can fit yeah, right, right at the brim of where for they sure, need right to. At the Ankle, they right at the angle where it's supposed to be. My shit, nigga, my shit all bundled up at the bottom, Duh. nigga. Like, <laughs> and it's not like, oh, I'm just buying. Like, I, I done bought expensive jeans. They, they, they don't make jeans for short yeah, people. But duh. there's a website where they, where they do it now that I got hip to. But like. Yeah. Even still, like, why don't niggas just niggas just short too? Damn, nigga, For sure. they just assuming everybody at least five ten. Like, no, nigga, that's not the case. Man, that's funny as hell, bro. That shit funny. What's worse, dog? Uh, not having money for your kids on Christmas or not having money for your kids on their birthday? <laughs> oh, oh, definitely Christmas. Christmas is that's how, that, yeah, that's Christmas is worse for sure because it's like niggas been saying birthdays. Bir- like, dog. Nah, birthday. See the birthday thing. You can finesse a birthday. You can make nigga. some shit up. You can you can get bridge. You can save the bridge card to get the birthday cake and, and give them the best experience for a birthday, nigga, yep. like possible yep. with off of, off off the strength of twenty five dollars. You know for what I'm sure. saying? Christmas, you can't do no. There is no gift you can get on Christmas for twenty five dollars that's gonna satisfy a kid. Mm, and kids, they got they don't give a fuck if you broke, nigga. They be like, what yeah. that shit got to do with me? Hell yeah, you know nigga. what I'm saying? Three hundred sixty five days. Nigga, that's, last the, that's the that's the thing they say. The yeah. kids be like, I don't understand how you broke when you knew Christmas was coming yeah, up this whole, whole time, year, like nigga. like. Duh. Like, yeah, kids, they don't give a fuck. They ruthless. Like, I remember my sister, she was so ruthless to my mom one year. She was like, she was like, she was like, how come you can buy, you can go and spend your money at church every <laughs> oh, Sunday when you get paid, but you can't do this? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm wild. like, but and, that, and that's just kids though. Kids, they don't give a fuck. Like, nigga, okay, Man. so what you going? So what? The house is, uh, but we about to get evicted. What they got to do with Christmas? For sure, nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, I got two more. Then we done. Uh, failing at something or not starting? Which one worse? Uh, not starting for sure. Like, mm-hmm. you never know. You gonna regret it. Okay, okay. Now this last one: losing your girl to your homeboy mm. or losing your girl to your ex. Which one worse? <laughs> Definitely the homeboy. That's yeah. just it's that's two portrayals in one. Yeah. Like, okay, my ex trying to do some stupid shit and she not want to go and scissor with my girl. Like, yeah. okay, it is what it is. I what gotta you? chalk that up to the game. She probably was already on that type of time. So I, in my mind, I can cope with that. I'd be like, oh, she probably was gay this whole time. It yeah. is what it is, right? But 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 your homeboy, yeah. like this is somebody you probably know all. He probably know all the lies you done told her. Nah, he probably done told her that you know he really doing this, yeah, right? Yeah. So. So yeah, I, I feel like that that's probably the biggest betrayal. I and that's that's one of those situations, bro. Like if if my if my bitch was to ever do some shit like that, I definitely have. I probably crash out because that's just that's just the ultimate level of disrespect. Hell yeah. Ultimately, I, I'm not. No, I ain't gonna crash out. I, I love my freedom so way too much <laughs> to crash out on some shit. But that's one of those situations. For sure, like, fuck that. Yeah, it'll Hell fuck yeah. you up for sure. You you never want to uh, be in a relationship again. For, for sure, real. man. For sure, man. With well, shit, man. I appreciate you coming to this motherfucking show, man. Oh yeah, absolutely. It, it was, was fun, man. Fun. It was dope, man. But I, I, um, let leave people with some with some words, some motivation, man. What's some shit you want to leave people off with? Shit, um, 
Keep going, nigga. Mm. Don't don't give up on no shit. Don't be everybody like the message I said today. Everybody dick suckers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It's true. So you know what I'm saying? You just gotta whip out. You know what I'm saying? And and do your shit. For you sure. know what I'm saying? You gotta go out there. Go go hard. Do all other shit. And then everybody gonna dick suck once you start being successful. That's just how I go. For sure. That's just I know it's <laughs> fucked up way to yeah, say man. shit, but but it's true no, though. No, for like, sure, for sure. How can you find you on socials and, and the music and tip and all that shit? Uh, yeah, everything is at uh, Q the Boy. So Q U E T H E B O Y. So mm -hmm. yeah, every that's on every social media platform. So for sure, definitely for sure. find me there. For sure, man. Like I said, I appreciate you coming out as well, dog. Man. Finally made that motherfucker happen, dog. I'm glad I made this bitch happen. Have fun. We need uh, we in beef over DMs and shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> salute, salute, <laughs> salute, salute. <laughs> salute. <laughs> Nigga saluted me five Yo, times. I mean, that motherfucker trying to eat pancakes, dog. I mean, that bitch <laughs> just got home from work. Nigga, about nigga go to had sleep. a long ass day, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, fuck you. No, I work midnight. So I mean, that bitch <laughs> trying to eat pancakes, watch sports, and go to bed, dog. This nigga, this bitch mad. Dang Get the fuck on, my bro. I'm trying to. I'm trying to eat my pancakes, man. <laughs> but, man, it's uh, episode 179. She was a boy, man. Showers, everybody. Niggas couldn't eat pancakes in peace. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> arguing at 9 in the morning, nigga. Like, nigga what? Nigga fucked up the pancakes. Nigga, I don't even argue my wife, man. Salute, man. <laughs> but, man, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no competition. If it is, I don't see it, man. Showers, everybody. We out. Yep. Salute, man. Salute. Salute. <laughs> Salute. <laughs>